The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Today's nigga anniversary, this suck ass nigga. <laughs> he try to he try to show us that he's working no matter what. Even through his anniversary, he try to set state <laughs> precedence. Hey, Fuck out of here, nigga. Go on. <laughs> I love you. Happy anniversary to Sade and Joe. The staff needs to. Yeah, <laughs> it's your anniversary. <laughs> Oh my God! Happy anniversary. happy anniversary, King! Happy yeah. anniversary! What is it? Six years? <laughs> Shout to Shade. How are you guys celebrating? How are yeah, you? What do you got going on? Yeah, I love you. Goodbye. If you don't celebrate today, you foul. Thanks. Oh shit! Get your ass in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> you bone him, you owe him. <laughs> oh shit! What oh. did you just say? You just <laughs> oh, I love you. Bye. Yo, you also do right, flip as a fool. Oh uh, my God, how y'all doing? Good, man? how you doing? We good, man. We, we good. Are wonderful. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, you can tell I don't be on live often. All right, yeah. you learn something. But, but again, nobody else can see them. No, no, no. But if you wanted to download and use footage, you can. Yes, today oh, sure. is my four-year anniversary. Oh, shout out to you. But it's like, why you even know that? <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on. Like, chill. Like, like what you doing? That's what they do. I, yeah, I'm lost. Yeah. That's Why, who know that? The women? Yes. Yeah, that's, they, they keep Yo, Mel ain't here. Come on, let's talk like men for a change. Come on, let's talk like some men for a change. <laughs> who the fuck knows What's that? What's going on? You're no, you know your anniversary? Fuck no. You know yours? Yes. I when do. is it? April 18th. You're such a bitch. <laughs> yes, of course I do. You married, you get a pass. Married. You know yours? I know mine, yes. You know your, you your boyfriend-girlfriend anniversary? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, sometimes that should be appropriate, yo. I was just yo, about sometimes it'd be right, to, yo. I was about to get on your pink shorts. Maybe right. I was about to get on your pink shorts. <laughs> yo, you got, I know whether you got your foo-foo shorts on. Yo, you know, why, why do you know that? It's easy. It was Valentine's Day. Oh, that's a little cheap. Nah, yeah. Whatever. That's a little cheap. <laughs> that's a little, uh, it works easy. That's, easy. that's easy yeah. to remember. You think if it was. Is that different from the day you met her? Uh, no. Do you know your metaversary? <laughs> Come on, it's let's not, just it's let's it's see how. It's not different. Same. I met her that day. Oh, you met her that day. Correct. So that's what you call it. Oh, that's what he just wait, said. Wait, is that no. the day you met her? Well, oh, is that. Is that what you're that supposed to do in anniversary? You're supposed to count from when you met her? No. So I thought it was when it an, became official. Yeah. Well, okay, maybe the maybe we met in person for the first time the week before, a couple weeks before, or something like that. Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, cool. You know your kiss anniversary, the first kiss. <laughs> Probably the same day, I would imagine. Oh, you that nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah. I started on my girl. <laughs> oh, this is our anniversary. It's different from our talk anniversary because that was last month. I said, listen, girl, <laughs> when, when was the fuck anniversary? <laughs> I said it was the talk anniversary, right? <laughs> Beat that thing down fast. First night, little fast ass. Hey, hey. Oh my God. Uh, I throw it up. Yeah. First night. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had mine first night. When y'all yeah. hit y'all? First night. Mel ain't here. What's up? First, first night. For y'all, first, first night in mine. Uh, I'm night. him. <laughs> first night. Actually, not the first night. Second night. Come on. Come second on. Night. Same, same thing. Same thing. thing. They passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. I mean, there, there, was, there, was some, there, was, there was some action the first night, though. <laughs> Listen, they little fast asses. Yeah. Ish? First night and she initiated. Uh, <laughs> second date. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> the same shit. Yeah, same, that's the same, same thing. shit, bro. Hey, what you doing tomorrow? <laughs> you? Hey, Let's you. Get this hey, tonight is cool if it went well enough for the... Hey, what you into tomorrow? To work. Oh, actually, no. You want to you get up real quick? It seems impromptu, but it's not. <laughs> it was a plan. I was already here, baby. It was a plan. You just said just like blue balls talking. Yeah, yeah. same <laughs> shit. First, second day. All right, it flip. I don't know. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Right. You tell us. Nah. Come on. Come on. Nah. Come on. No, nah. you, you waited. She made you wait. Nah. From she was a little traditional. Great. Well, I knew it since I was I was young. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, well, I knew it when I was young, and then uh, I came. You're not, you're not him. <laughs> what? 
You know him. Yeah, it's okay. Niggas was fucking when they were young. Okay. I was. No. It's okay, dog. It's okay. <laughs> Before, it's all right. So Everybody so don't have to be uh, him. No, no. I, I got to watch. Okay. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> you hear how our sounded and then yours started with Bell. I knew it since I was... No, it even the books start different. Even I have like, to answer. Yeah, yes, true. Yes, I, I, school, it was, it, yeah. school, man. It was a while. That's number no, wrong. Y'all still rocking strong, man. Yeah, it's hey, not, that's, that's all. That's, that's important. Love Woods. Love, love Woods. Huh? Hey, what's, on, your, what's your anniversary? Well, uh, September seventeenth. Mm. There you go. Might be fifteen years. Damn. Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. <laughs> Married. Mm -hmm. So your soul time. <laughs> See? Why you wear your ring? Huh? I was going to ask, but I thought that was prying. Oh, I'm glad right. you did. <laughs> About my ring? I did, I did, first of all, I think that's invasive. Okay. I think that both of you. All right, well, never mind. I think that's extremely disrespectful. Okay, never mind. Extremely okay. disrespectful. I don't my ask about anybody oh, else's man. rings here. What? <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. Just chilling. Chilling now. You go live, I'll watch game. Man. <laughs> Hurry up, get it out, man. <laughs> no. You ain't gonna take it out? Pause. Yo! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Holy oh. shit. All right, I wanna start this pod with a few <laughs> clips. Okay. <laughs> Yo. You know what's fun about y'all sometimes? Especially this couch. A lot more ish than ice, but ice is one of them times. When they won't share? <laughs> huh? When and what they won't share? Well, that is always a fact, but they'll just say, ask something out of pure naivete or just like, just, hey, man. <laughs> they'll <laughs> casually say something that shouldn't be said. Hey, man, I've been mean to ask you. Well, why don't you know where your wedding ring? <laughs> I've been wanting to ask that question since I met Flip. <laughs> Which is a bad sign if Park's like, I wanted to ask, but I never asked. Yeah, keep to myself. <laughs> and then Flip starts stuttering. That, 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 that's evasive. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Flip. I didn't know that was an evasive question. Yeah, that's the type of marriage I want to. Shit. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> no, I'm dead not. ass. Because you know why? We'll propose to a girl. <laughs> fucking crazy. And Yo. the girl, we could have an argument. Stop. And the girl could throw the ring. The girl... Throws the ring yeah. that should have fall down the sewer somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, because you paid for for it, and now you know what you went through to get it. You go look at scurrying to get that. Right, right. But sometimes <laughs> I be want to throw that motherfucker. Hey, bitch, give me this shit. I was wrong as hell about you. <laughs> I, I ain't scurrying. I hope that shit fall down the sewer. Mm -hmm. Oh, see. You got insurance. You go, I, insurance <laughs> or not? You won't get another one. You will be ringless. That's one of the things that girls do that I mind. find like highly offensive, like like past triggering. Mine's on a play like that. Dog, and you don't know what I sacrificed to get that ring. I'm, I'm with you. You're triggering me now. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> actually the more we started with jokes. Hey, remember, I used to wear my shit around my neck. Crazy. She learned him. <laughs> she learned to wait, scar, wait, wait. scarred him for life, Corey. <laughs> she said no, and then you wore the wedding ring around your neck? I put mine in the drawer until I could hock that motherfucker. <laughs> both of them. You got both of them in the drawer? No, I hocked both of them. <laughs> oh, you already did them? Uh, the first one went to my a watch. The second one went to a watch. <laughs> Because the bullshit, right, when I say hawk, is because when you get an engagement ring, you pick everything about the ring. Mm -hmm. So it's not, once you try to bring it back and say, hey, dog, and it work out, there's <laughs> like, get a nigga, I'm not going to hold this ring that you made for the love of yeah. your life to try to wait for somebody to sell it. And this diamond, I got to wait to see who want this diamond. So no, if I take it back, they cutting off whatever oh, nah, from nah, the price. Nah but, nah, but the diamond, they supposed to give you the same price. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. They tell you. No. Most jewels give you the same. But all right. I, I can't speak for most jewels. Gotcha. Gotcha, I can gotcha. only speak from my experience. And in both times, 
It wasn't that the diamond had lost value, but nigga, that's your diamond. Mm -hmm. It's so custom. The buyback, it's some custom shit. So the buyback I mean, is I'm not. I'm just. I'm not that. sitting here holding this. The ring is that a I custom made you. ring. I understand that and, piece. Have you pay? Have you pay? So traditionally in jewelry stores, outside outside of watches, because they don't make that much money on the watch. Mm -hmm. There's not that much markup on the watch. Um, with jewelry, though, if you went and bought something for twelve thousand, mm -hmm. you went and bought something for twenty seven thousand, they are supposed to match dollar for dollar what you paid to go towards something else. Like that's what they do or advertise. Most jewelers advertise that. So, it's, but if you custom made a ring and you had this and this and this and you wanted that, the court. I see why they not giving you. Yeah, your, 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 you know what I mean. That's yeah. pretty much what a lot of that shit. Anything custom. True. So, but that's why I told Joe. Like, but the diamond itself, again, should have should have still held the same exact value. But he's saying his drill did. Yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't honor that. It Half? wasn't far off. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't far off. Gotcha. Hey, if I tell you the story, but, my wedding ring is embarrassing. That's why. Oh, I want to hear it. No, nah. I definitely want to hear that. I love a good embarrassing. But why? Son. Because you well, tell us. But why you can't fix it fix it today? It Whatever fall, existed. I'm petty. It falls under the line of what you said. It was just reversed. My wife had a tendency of getting mad. Like when she do that, she do crazy shit. Uh -huh. She ripped. She ripped the marriage. <laughs> Certificate before she oh, throws shit. shit. Yeah. So. Oh. oh, okay. Huh. I'm not. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ish, I just did some quick researching right here um, about returning engagement rings. It says some jewelry shops accept a full refund for non personalized engagement rings. Yeah. It is rare to find a jewelry shop that accepts a full refund, though. The return option is the quickest way. Most of the time, though, the engagement ring value is half once you walk out the shop. Recall it, regardless if they wore it or not, because the shops consider it a used ring at that point. Yes, my guy so like a did me a, a solid. As soon as you find, by as soon the as you number sign he name. gave me being a little less than, mm -hmm. and but he let me know it was a solid. Yeah, that sounds like a. Solid. He told you it was a solid. Yeah, and that's not what he told me my first two times calling about it. Mm -hmm. It took a few calls and but, some time to and pass, you, and you spent some more spanky with him too. I didn't. I thought you got the watch. I did. But not from him. Oh, not, but not from not, him. Not from him. Oh. I, I eventually, what I did, well, this is what I did. Oh, I wouldn't have gave it to you, neither. <laughs> I, once, thought getting, I thought you was getting just getting some shit from there. Once, my, once the guy that I got the diamond from, on the fifth call or whatever call it was, mm -hmm. let me know it was only going to be maybe 20 under what I got it from. <laughs> I took that number, and I took it to the jeweler where I buy my jewelry from now. And I gave it to him, and I said, what can you do for me for this? And he beat it. He said, do you have the paperwork? I said, yeah. I hit him. I got the paperwork. I took it over there, and he beat that. So I just gave it to him. Okay. It's like you shopped the estimate almost. Yeah. You got to watch. You fucking right. There you go. <laughs> well, with putting something on putting top something, of it. Yeah. A, lot of swap. a lot of something. Yeah, on top of it. What type of watch you got? My watch. Oh, that one my right watch. That watch. Oh, I held my engagement ring for years. You did. I'm talking about for years. Really? This wasn't like a, yeah. a couple, few no, months. No, he had that process. for a minute. Yeah, I just got this watch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had this watch a year. Maybe not even. I don't remember. Yeah, you got to run your birthday, if I recall correctly. So, think about that. I proposed to send, stayed with her, broke up, stayed with her three years, and still had that <laughs> ring in my shit. That's nuts to me. But that the game was a game. My thing was, if I hold the diamond, I'm not losing nothing. Not just that, you ain't need to burn it. Okay, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't need the money, then it ain't, it's no harm, no foul. True. A nigga that need that bread, that shit gone. That shit be uh, gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> nigga fuck around, break in the house, that shit insured, like, yo. Yeah, dog, come in there, come get that. Let me put this claim in. Yeah, gonna let a nigga clunk you upside the head real quick. I be looking at niggas' chains now. What happened to him? This guy is because I never looked at that shit before. Mm -hmm. Man, you start to get to look at it and be like, well, now, now you, you bought, now you you bought one. Yeah, now you bought now one. You bought, you bought yeah. your chain? I got a lot of aluminum foil shit going on. You right. bought your chain? Uh, I picked one out and put you some money toward it. You saw what it costs and your weight and all that. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, no, I don't man. have it. He's making it. It's a Cuban, but he got to make it. It's this it matches this. But this is not, he got to. Do it like this. And you got emerald cuts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just, just... 
shit like that is for, for, for like these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like what? Like that. Shit, shit like what? Like a chain. I'm trying to big you up and say I'm proud of my man. But why? Cause like you, you were against wearing chains. It's a big step for me psychologically. Yeah, as I'm saying, you were against wearing. It's a big step for me. You were against wearing chains. I remember you talked about it. And now look, you're getting a chain. The last chain you had was was an on top chain. I wear to work. Yeah, them niggas took my head off of that stupid fucking chain. <laughs> they, you I shouldn't have had that chain. Then they take from Demons too. I didn't pay for that chain, huh? They took the Demons. They, they took Demons chain. I I, th- I think so. They took the, the on top chain from him. Mm. Oh. They didn't take it from webbing them. They probably handled it differently. <laughs> Demons probably handled that differently than I did. I went to the precinct. For <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw you a picture right now. <laughs> no, too dark. Yeah. Make that head no, a No, make his yeah. nose thinner than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a good look at the guy. <laughs> but back to, I, I don't blame that person. I don't blame that person. I don't blame that person at all. That was me. Yep. And that's just back to when you don't work for something, so it. you don't pay for it. You so you don't value it. Correct. So you just don't know how don't you move moving. Yep. I, I should not have had any jewelry when they was putting jewelry on me. I was too young. I was too young. I was going places where, like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. Today, I'm just going to wear it here. I'm, hey. <laughs> and you're going to tuck it in? It's always going to be tucked in. Always. Sure. Always. Why well, would you think? You think I'm pussy because I tuck it in? No, nah, I don't think no, so. No, no. I, I, I don't think you're I'm pussy. not tucking it in for that reason, if that's what you're asking. Cuban's no. supposed to be tucked. I don't, I don't think you're pussy because you're tucking But I'm just yo. saying, are you not able? It's so sad in the, in the world we live in today. I don't want to seriously doubt. We're not able to enjoy our success. You can. You just got to know where to enjoy your success at. Not true. It's fucked up. Some niggas are walking the hood with their chains on, though. Oh. Yeah, lions. The wolves don't fuck with the lions. Wait, so what are you calling Joe? <laughs> a cheetah? <laughs> bobcat? A bobcat? That's a dish. Bob Joe cat. not walking in the hood. Chain, chain list Joe don't walk like that. It's crazy. It's wild. They got my man Trav in, in Columbia. I'm sure you know Trav, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they robbed him? Oh, shot him and robbed him. Mm-hmm. Or, Oh, they shot him too. Yeah. Oh, see. It was off the resort? I don't know where it was at, but, you know. I wouldn't be on vacation. Uh, <laughs> damn, Jane, I'm cool. At all. Yeah, you crazy? Yeah, no siri, but I'm wearing my shit to, like, the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you start like advertising kitchen. that shit out there, nigga. Start looking <laughs> what made you want to... I'm an alcoholic. Major League alcoholic. That's a play. Shit. No, I, that's old. I played before. What'd you say? What made you What made you actually get the chain? Uh, my birthday. I like that. Really nothing more than just, oh, it's my birthday and the ability to. I like that. I, I, I do liked, something different. Last year on my birthday, birthday I, whatever I get, did for my birthday, I think it was this. I liked that. I liked, mm-hmm. wasn't so much this. It was, yeah, you I know what, let it. me step outside of myself yes. on my birthday. The people that love me ain't about to do this type of shit for me. I wouldn't even ask them to. So let me let me play around. Emerald cuts. All right, man. Listen. That's the snitching? We start this nah, by this attacking like, the colleges again. People go to college. They treat this. People go to college. They treat this like that is the model of higher education. By going to college is this 50000 to quarter million dollar investment. <laughs> On average, it's also five years to get through college to get career training. Some people view career training like this is going to set me up for what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, but it's more cog training. The majority of people who graduate with a degree never go into a field with that degree. And if they do, they don't last there very long. You spend mm-hmm. a quarter million dollars learning a career that you're not going to leverage or use. Mm-hmm. That's true for the masses. Mm-hmm. That big investment investment is really all about, I don't want to say making someone else rich, but it's not really a complete game plan. That game plan usually only extends as far as pay the bills. We make this huge investment. We think it's the highest form of education. What it's going to do is keep 62% of people in this country check to check. You definitely have some people that are getting ahead and you've got others that are getting wildly behind. But that model doesn't produce rich people. That's what poor people do. I agree. All colleges now cost a quarter million dollars. Now they do. 
That's a that's a good base for a private institution. No state. That's a good baseline. State colleges now are like thirty five, forty grand. Well, he did. He said five years. And for, most and career, most career and most training. majors are five years now. Mm. Well, there are very few people that are finishing with their bachelors in four years. Really? Yeah. I, I know. Mm-hmm. So, two fifty is not a bad baseline. Maybe if you want to say two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. What he's saying though is correct, but it's that that's by design. Like. They, they quote one of the Rockefellers saying, yo, we don't want a society of thinkers. We want a society of workers. Society would, would, would halt if everybody was an entrepreneur. Society will halt if everybody ran their own company. If you look at this room, in this particular setting, we are all working for I challenge that. Go ahead. Maybe that, I think today, that is, it would have to be less true than it's ever been, no. right? Why? Because you need workers for your company to thrive. Well, that's what the that's what they're fighting about with AI now in the writers' strike. They're they're arguing for their AI rules to be built under what they know AI to be today, and not the future when they could be replaced. And sure. they're saying that the movie people are never going to go for that. My point is today with tech and AI and all of the and Chat GPT and like just all of these other things. An entrepreneur can have a business with not all of these staff members. So now, if, so if all of us in this room are entrepreneurs, and now you're saying the masses in America are entrepreneurs, then how do you pay your bills? Just because you're an entrepreneur doesn't mean you can't work for another entrepreneur or do work with another with, entrepreneur. Yeah, correct. True. So like, now, like you, for example, you're in the house house building. Mm-hmm. On YouTube, they have machines building houses. Foundations. Where, no, houses, not foundations. They're not doing the interiors. Yet. But go ahead, I'm listening. On YouTube, they're doing the interior. What are you talking about? This is a, it maybe they got don't robots look the that most are doing beautiful, houses, where but. They doing, oh, I seen them doing the, the foundation and then they stick it. And build but what it. I'm saying is, if but you're a house builder and you adopt this mm-hmm. method, mm-hmm. you're staffing less. Like a way, lot, way a lot less. less. A lot less. Mm-hmm. Way less. Parks is an engineer. Uh-huh. Well, so if Parks finds some so, simulation of AI that can help him do what he's if doing, if Parks finds something that enables him to mix ten to twenty records at once, his business grows as mm-hmm. an entrepreneur. True. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could I could implement that with everybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like. And what I'm telling you, he is, could do skits with CGI. True. And it, what? Uh, stay here. You right. But you're thinking about the individual. You're thinking about the individual. What that's also doing is laying off a mass amount of people that you used to need to get these things done, to get these tasks completed. So if you look now, we ride through the Lincoln Tunnel, there's nobody collecting money anymore. Yeah, toll collectors so now we're looking at it like it's a convenience because we're getting through the tunnel earlier, but those are all people that are now out of work that got to go find a job somewhere. If you look at Home Depot, when you go in, it might be one lane open now in Home Depot. Everything else is bag your own. Those are jobs. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you start to look at it from a macro level, that if, if everybody is an entrepreneur, most entrepreneurial things, you need a staff. You can't no, have no, a good... You're go- not responding to what I'm saying. Yeah, I am. You talking about parks and My then you talk... My point was the entrepreneurial shit today as tech advances that don't need a staff. You need both. To, 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 to have a good um, ecosystem, you need both. You need workers and you need people. Who am I going to sell a house to? Somebody because else that's a that can buy the house. Consumer. That's a consumer. Yeah. Where's the consumer provi- get income from? If they're an entrepreneur, they're... If everybody's an entrepreneur, that's what he's then Then you don't need... It. So if everybody's an entrepreneur, then... You, you, it's, it's a system of buyers and sellers. You need buyers and sellers. Yeah. You need workers and you need bosses. It, it's just an ecosystem that makes everything run smoothly. When you start thinking about the economic balance in the world, if everybody is an entrepreneur, <sighs> society will stop. It's like the haves and have nots. Thing society there? will stop. It'll stop. I, like, yeah, that's where I, I don't... Like, I can't explain I'm it because... To- if you are entrepreneur, like how many products in the world? Three hundred and something million people in the United States. Mm-hmm. If all of them are entrepreneurs, then who do, who works? Who 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 buying what the, products? The we the, all got our the, own the business. The ground that we level running? people that that the upper classmen are looking down on because we're on the ground level, shielded from the things that they're doing to make the world run up there. Sure. So that's why I'm lost. Like I was watching something from, uh, I was watching what they did to 
farming over the years and how, you know, started there and they got rid of the farmers and now they got machines and that's how they're able to supply what they're able to supply. It's like the, that's what I hear when I listen to your so, example. Like, plenty of fields have already gone through this. And, and what I'm thinking and about, I don't want to do, sound like no, even leader. an entrepreneur. I still gotta buy my products. Yeah, like, I might, I might, I might be an entrepreneur, and I'm, I don't know, I make like fucking microchips or something. My, what using AI here, the shit that I still need. Parks is an entrepreneur. His company makes it. I still gotta buy from him. So you're gonna have 400 million different companies. Not necessarily. That's what, what we have. Well, but dog, think it's about it. True. He might make something. Hey. Hovain told me this shit a long time ago. Rest in peace. He was like, "Yo, whenever you hear you doing something the same as somebody else, walk down the uh, grocery aisle and look at the walk down the bread." And that is America does like it's a bunch of different four hundred million gazillion companies. Their 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 pitch and slogan is "Come here, make money, build a company." One person himself, the way the laws and shit is set up, could just have. 20 different companies and accounts ran different for the tax purpose. This is the land of companies. Bro, I can't explain it, yo. It's, it's, uh, listen to this. Every I'm telling whoever's listening, everybody can't be an entrepreneur. Society stops. That's what, I'm letting you know society stops. You need workers to make society run. You need laborers. I you need workers. The Joe no, Button podcast but there's is, no argument okay, there today. The Joe Button podcast is impossible without labor. Fact. It's impossible. That's not true. That's incorrect. That means you'll do... But that, that is means, incorrect. You would have I'm to do... I'm telling you You would have to do all... I could speak to robots, mm -hmm. right? They have voice robot. Nobody could be here, and you could have a conversation. They have programs that will upload this shit anywhere it That's needs true. to be uploaded, okay. schedule a date, time, or whatever... What about the manual work with the cameras? You, you Dog. You're going to have to attach it to... You can find some... You can get a, a you can, program. You can get a program, that. though. I okay, mean, it's, it's a lot of work. I'm just saying it could be done. True. I'm not arguing with you today. I, I agree with you I'm, today I'm as the world know. stands. What I'm saying, though, in the entrepreneur conversation is everybody in the world, if they were an entrepreneur, I see a best case scenario where the world runs really fucking smooth and the future, the see, future. See, when we start talking about the future, I don't feel bad that the people that was collecting money at the Lincoln Tunnel for years and years and years and years don't have a job. I don't feel bad about that because for years I drove by the Lincoln Tunnel, argued with these niggas and said, why is this a thing? It's a thing because there's a lot of useless jobs in the world. That was one of the jobs that should have been gone. Really? Us, us, yes. Dog, when I was at ShopRite bagging up bags as a child, I knew this job wouldn't be here forever. Maybe not for you, but then the nut. The nut no, 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 period. Not for me. I'm talking about thinking of the world and how it runs. You couldn't have possibly thought that for the rest of our lives, there would be somebody down there to bag up the bags for the groceries. Did you think that? Still is. It's not true-ish. When you go grocery shopping, people bag your shit. That is, you saying the cashier bags now instead of the bagger? Nah, they leave. You gotta bag your own I'm, shit. No, no, not always. I let them. I let them bag my shit. We get all over the place. I'm talking about the bagger as a position. Gotcha. Not the cashier bagging. Mm -hmm. Not bag your own. Not mm -hmm. that line. Not okay. buy the but bags. That, that being your that job. That being a job bag. at every register on the shop right. Shop right. That's not standard. That's very rare that you see that. It is. Yeah, so no, don't do that no you don't see that. You see the cashier doing. You don't do that it. no more. I look at that job like that. Like some jobs are gonna get aged out. True. Society can't grow if you don't age some of the some of this shit out. So now I don't look at it like a bad thing necessarily. It depends on what side of the coin you on. So now in society, when you start aging out of all of these jobs and you're not replacing them with new jobs, what happens? People get fucked up. You got three hundred and forty million people, and as more technologically. Uh, advance we become as a society. I'm about to start sounding like a nut. I mean, nah, I'm telling you, it alleviates jobs. It alleviates jobs. All the landscaping jobs. Imagine now when they have robots that could come manicure your lawn and have your shit fire. Fam, you talking about? We've seen entire industries. Look at what happened to Detroit with, with auto building. And what what did it do to this society? Fucking Crumbled up. it. Entire industry wiped out. Once the robots come in and can Bro. put the car together in in the amount of time it yes. and, and like we, we could do twenty cars in the time it took a whole, a assembly, whole line, assembly line of people motherfuckers to do in a month. We doing um, dog, 
Um, and between technology, even in outsourcing, same shit. Yo, dog, we are we are falling behind. And then this is the crazy part. The, the, one of the interviews they asked me like, what in real estate? One of them. What, yeah. what, what was one of the scariest? Yeah, really? You talking. seen that right? One, one of them. That was crazy. I don't even remember which one. But Fam, they asked me like, what in real estate? Well, one of what is one of the bad things that I see, like that I'm predicting? And I said, yo, dog. Incomes aren't rising at the same rate as housing. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it, 20 years ago, you could have had a factory job and held down a family of four. Mm -hmm. That is done college, today. The whole shit. That is done today. So now, when you start talking about Manhattan, even New Jersey, yo, dog, these houses are five, six, seven hundred grand. The incomes aren't rising at the level. A house that cost you six hundred today was three fifty five, six years ago. Niggas didn't get the same corresponding income raises That's that true. the houses got mm -hmm. raised up to. Cars that were 30 grand 10 years ago, they 50 grand now. People's incomes aren't rising at the level to meet necessities. We're not even talking about luxury shit like a chain or a watch. We're talking about paying bills, fucking eggs is 12, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. all of that stuff. So now when you start taking jobs away and prices are increasing, what the fuck is going to happen to the people? We yeah. are going. We are headed toward a real, real, real big. Um, it's going to be dog catastrophic, dog, man. yeah, bro. It's going to be catastrophic. It's come dog eat dog out yeah. here. I agree with a lot of that. Where I disagree is, I think that the powers that be, as they look into population control in 30 and 40 and 50 years have already a number of people taking up space here that need to go. Absolutely. True. I, be I think, I think, Absolutely. That I think that they've decided on what they think the, the proper number is. Mm. Yes. I do mm -hmm. think that, but I, I don't oh. know how they're going to go about that. And they started, I do think that it started, it started, it started and there's a fight going on. Bill Burr has a funny bit about one of them <laughs> plagues that was going around maybe 10 years ago and uh -huh. how he enjoyed it because it was getting rid of the weak humans. <laughs> he said, animals, <laughs> they kill the weak animals. <laughs> Even their child if it's weak. He's, he's, he's doing it, he did it way better than I did it. But his point was, humans are the only ones that the weak go to the doctor, we try to keep them alive <laughs> as long as you can. Dog, <laughs> if niggas got to go. <laughs> no, don't say that. Well, it's fun. It's just cool. Well, nah. 50 Cent just said to me, yo, it wasn't, I was battling niggas that had a lot of influence and was putting in a lot of pain. My thinking was just always, we all got to go at some point. Yeah. You want here? No, you, you don't, don't have one? I gave it to you. You gave it to me? I sent you the clip. Look at you learn how to work phones. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga getting yeah. better than me now. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sent him a little something. All right, let me see what you got. You know how I would do it? What? I oh. Would, I would randomly... <laughs> this guy's fast. See, I saw this in a stand-up. I don't want to hear Conan. Shut Think up. About somebody's here. born... Three people born every second to one person dying, right? So if you're not making anybody, it's like, bam, somebody just died. Right? Somebody just fell down some stairs. Somebody just tripped over a skateboard, right? And you know what? Fucking lanes just opening up on the highway, right? I'm telling you, we need a plague. You can just keep banging away. You can just keep banging away, making one useless, mediocre, not gonna invent shit kid after another. <laughs> that would be a good thing to bring that here, you know? Just to kind of thin out the traffic a little bit, right? <laughs> Why don't they ever just let it burn through one time? Why do we always gotta like jump on it? <laughs> Have you ever had one of those selfish thoughts? Like what if it was a bunch of people who died? Nobody you knew or loved, right? And then the next day you just get to tear right through the Lincoln Tunnel at five in the evening. I would. I'd have my own sub. All right. I'd have my own sub, and I would hunt these cruise ships on a moonlit summer night. Right, on a moonlit summer night. I would have turned it off. Sound carries, you know? You know those summer nights when your neighbor's talking about you, doesn't think you can hear him, you're sitting on your porch going like, oh yeah, is that how it is? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is, right? I would just circus. You get the point. 
We so do. that's what I hear when I listen to you that's how talking about. I think that's what they're doing. All these people and the jobs. Yeah. And the they jobs don't. ain't their concern. You niggas breathing this air for this many People years. are living longer. And it's more people being born. Which is... Not to sound conspiracy theorist, but it's you would want to do something about that. Introduce a way to maybe stop you niggas from having so many babies. Introduce a way to thin out the, the, the elderly. Well, you, it's, you, it's, it's definitely some counterproductive shh, don't, arguments. Don't save them. Don't save them. You don't want to be safe. No, I'm talking about you. Don't save I'm, them. I'm, I'm saying me. No, nah, you want to be safe. <laughs> I'm just and, saying. And finish the thought. They'll introduce some shit. I don't know what they introduced. I think they did though. I'm not that's above they my pay grade. Introduced it already. Yeah, I think they've started that. We won't know un- for years down the line when you see the commercial come on, and now you people are having reproductive issues and they can't do this and and they don't know where it came from. It's some shit that was introduced. You think that? Any, yeah. You think that any part of the gay agenda is that? Oh, I wasn't going there. No. What's the gay does agenda? That, does that line up with what you're saying though? You said they would introduce something so that people could have less kids. No, I don't. I don't think that's part of it because that's still happening too. But what's, what's still, still happening, happening too? <laughs> Yo, we got couples tap, are still having tap, babies. You got tap dance kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> couples are still having babies. Like gay couples? Yes. <laughs> couples are still having babies. How they're not having? Ba- how are they having babies? Shouts to the brat. She just had her baby. Oh, oh. I get, I get you. And the birth rate is lower now than it has been in a long it's time. It's way lower. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's working. It's not that. It's working. It's not that. Mm. Okay. People what? are, people are like, traditionally having less babies because it costs more to live. So back in the day, people had a mass amount of kids um, because what? kids used to help you plow the field. You know what I mean? Again, the more technology... I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> she didn't say just sound valid. <laughs> I don't funny. know. I need... I, hey, get nah, your shit off. You right. It just sounded funny. I'm serious. Plow I'm kids. listening. Kids used to Back plow the, the field. Pe- People used to have kids so for, they could plow the field. For manual labor. Yes, bro. That was part of your labor force. Back in the day, I'm dead ass serious. If they gave you 40 acres in a mule, right? Who the fuck you think worked the, the farm? Your kids. People had kids. Yeah, I'm dead ass serious. I'm okay. not even joking. But that's like, not why they were having kids, right? They weren't or, having or kids. Are you saying for they were having kids for that purpose? I think it was in part, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. part, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah, hell All right. yeah. To pass so, down the, the like the, now, a lot of people um are only having like, especially this is one of the things that they having a the problem with white people. White people aren't producing kids. This, it's alarming them because now white people are slowly not being um, or, 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 or on the verge of not being the, the majority in the United States anymore. I, I like having a, this is one of the problems with white people <laughs> that the white people are having. No, like that, that, that they say. <laughs> they say this is a great dollars. segment. It's the only thing that the whites are going through right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're not having kids. <laughs> oh, hey, that shit add up over the time. It's more. Oh my God, what is going on? Shut up. But that's that's what they like. So white kids and white people are not having kids that much. <laughs> that's part of why they was on this, you know, ro- rolling back Roe yes. versus Wade yes. and all that. Yeah, they trying to. That's why they trying to get a boy. It's a out deeper here. conversation we can have it off the mic. I'm scared that. Yeah, I'm I want to. I'm scared yeah. to have it on mic, but it's a conversation we can have. <laughs> I'm sure. Call me. Why? Call me bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I don't see that part though. All right, I'll tell you what. Why? Why? Why would we shit to have the conversation you trying to have right now? About. You think they're going to shut us down? I'll introduce you. You you could decide it. All right, tell me. So in the United States, once you have, you're born, you get a birth certificate, you get a social, you get all of those things. You are basically property of the United States of America. Like, that's why we can't, we can't do whatever we want to do in this country because you are owned by the United States. What if you become sovereign? If you become a sovereign, if you become a sovereign entity, then some of the rules don't apply. Like, they've got niggas that literally got sentenced to life and they get up there and claim sovereignty and... They could go home, right? But outside of all of that, the debt base is based on the property of the of the nation. Okay. So our 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 numbers are dropping. We've had steadily population drops. I think over the last decade and a decade and a half, which means the value of our nation is somewhat dropping as well. 
Okay, all well, that makes sense. No, I'm just saying. So, so that's why part of the Roe vs. Wade shit, like they want to stop people from having abortions, and they want to stop us from. Um, they want to incite more, more, more. Got it. Uh, kids, people being kids being born Got because it. that increases the value of the nation. Okay, and I agree with that. Allegedly, no, that makes sense. So, it makes sense. You know, it's a, it's a few things that. Um, so some people say that they. Uh, have an agenda to control the population. And on the other hand, people said that they don't. Just depends on what side of the coin you are. So, up, you all right? I'm, I'm good. I'm just processing. I just, uh, what I hear about that a lot of times, the other side of the coin, is the resources here are finite. Mm. And more people is using up more resources. And unless they find a way to curb that, we gonna be ass out. They have a way. Like even they say that land is being scarce. So I, I, I looked at again both sides. Mm -hmm. They have scientists that are saying, "Yo, dog, water. We can make our own water, and water will never run out." Because that used to be the thing. Like, yo, water gonna run out. The oceans gonna. They're like, yo, the oceans not gonna drive. If anything, it's more water coming now. That's, That's true. one. Number two, Global they warming. said that we have enough land mass to take the you not the world's population three or four times over. And we are not growing exponentially like that to where the the the, the or Africa alone damn near, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Could damn near house four, five, six, seven major nations at one time, and we wouldn't even remotely be bumping into each other. Mm. So they are saying that those are some of the excuses that people are using for Definitely. the fuckery. Mm -hmm. They saying like those are some of the excuses that people are using for the fuckery. But to slow it down, all we gotta do is stop being so capitalistic. Yo, we are mad wasteful, bro. We wasteful. True, true. We, we do a bunch of shit. They can make cars more efficient. They don't, so that you could keep buying them. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Some of the shit that we use and we throw away, we don't have to throw away if the world was just working more efficiently without focusing everything on capitalism. If you're trying to get me to recycle, I'm not. Value for value, <laughs> capitalism. Yo, refrigerator, stoves, all that shit, they can make them better. Mm -hmm. Laptops. They, 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 they release laptops in stages. So right now, you might be on a iPhone 15. Nigga, they got the 20 damn near done. But they're going to release the 16, the 17, the 18, and the 19 so that they can slowly make more money off of all the new tech. They could put the newest tech in the next phone next year. They're not. They're going to release all of them shit slowly so that they can capitalize off of every single release. But that's not true all the time because Ice be having the beta version of the that's phone. True. <laughs> right? Ice he lying? <laughs> Beta version is the next step. That's all. That's just it's the one they decide yeah. to release. Yeah. So you, so you mean to tell me your beta was fake? Well, no, <laughs> the real beta. That's not what comes after beta. beta. Yeah, what's after the beta? Ma Same. Um, Seda? No, it's uh, Meta. Meta. <laughs> I forgot what come after beta. Some some fuck shit. Oh, something really do? Yeah. Alpha. It's an, it's no, an alpha beta. I'm dumb. Oh, yeah, but then there's it's alpha beta. Charlie Delta. All right, that's all right. that alphabet. Yo, in Podland, none of y'all schooling matters. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just break this off. It, it does, though, but it's cool. Alpha, big, I'll take the... Oh, it that's does matter. Military alphabet. Plenty of idiots is out there podcasting. I just seen some over the weekend. That the, these friends fight over whether they should split the bill. <laughs> I think I saw some bullshit about of splitting the bill. Of course you did. Of course yeah, you did. Oh, the birthday. That was what oh, it was. Oh, right. birthday. Stop birthday it. Fight. I saw that. I didn't watch it, but was it a funny video? I didn't watch I it. You, you saw the video. I saw like a clip. The video wasn't very long. It was just long enough to get the gist of the fight, which was the age old bullshit. This is the beta Twitter topic fight. Uh, uh, you go out to eat as a group. Do you split the check evenly or do you pay for what you ordered? Well, how do you feel about that? You asked oh, that before? Okay. <laughs> we're, not, it's, we're not here. Stop. We're better than this. We I, don't, I, I don't split the bill. I'm just saying. I, but, but yeah, right. You're right. You don't split a bill? No. What do you do? If I have it, I pay for the whole thing. In a group of 20? Yeah. Okay. All right, I've big, done that before. No. Big, big he tries. No, he does try. What are you talking about? I Every time me and him go out somewhere, oh, man. he tries to pay the whole bill. Oh, because that's a group of 20. Eric B. Eric B. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle, Uncle E sat me down. It was me, Eric B., Star, and a couple of people. And when I when I did that same stupid shit, see, you don't like to teach niggas. Oh, let me. Hey, uh, hey where y'all niggas un unlock a story? It was me and Lil E. <laughs> no, no. See, you want to make a joke, but it's true. Go ahead, I'm it listening. Was a learning lesson. Eric B. told me, nigga, we don't split bills, bro. 
How are we going to sit here for fucking five to ten minutes wondering who paid for what? If you got it, pay for the bill. When I got it, I paid for And from when he said that to me, I had a whole new vision of that. It do look corny when niggas are sitting there passing shit around. Like, I, I don't look good with that shit either. Yo, it I looks crazy. This. You I sit there for a salad, while. Nigga. People sit there for a while. It's not, unless you come up with an agreement beforehand, hey, yo, we're going to split this down the middle. Like, me and my brother had that before. Like, it was, it was 20 of us. Uh-huh. Yo, I pay, we're going to split this down the middle, whatever it is. And we agree. We give our cars. Uh-huh. But the most for me, for the most, after that conversation, I try to pay for it. If I got it, I'm, I, don't worry about it, y'all. I pay for it. I've said this before here, but that's, that's the part. That part is embarrassing to me, too, if 20 niggas give a car. It's crazy. That's embarrassing to me. It too. looks crazy. It's embarrassing. If it's six cards, I'm in. I'm embarrassed. Yes. People sit there and they talk for a while. Well, I like we go you. out on triple dates and shit sometimes. <laughs> like, I, I try to pay that shit so y'all niggas can give me my points up. That's that part. That's part of it. How many points you got? <laughs> oh, not a lot. Well, because I be using my shit sometimes. Everybody use their points with me. I'm gonna learn what them shits are supposed to be used for. That you means you got you accumulated a lot of points. Millions. You don't got no fucking million points. Fuck Andrew. I have millions of points. You don't have them. You do? Of course. Millions of points. Nigga, that nigga wear a $10,000 outfit. What you think that come with? No, I'm just saying. I'm not, and he don't use cash. I'm damn man, I don't know what to do. Let me get some points, nigga. <laughs> you sound like my mom, no, nigga. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm keeping them till I learn what you, to do. You, you can use them, You know what I mean? Use I'll your take points. A points. That's crazy. Amazing. So I could gift points. You could. You could. You have millions of points for real? Millions? Wow. You could gift points. People, that would be a good gift. Look at you. <laughs> Fuck out of here. He's like, send some points over there. He's he ready to take some of my points. He'll figure out what to do with them. Uh, he, know, he already know what to do with them. You really don't know what to do with them, but you just choose not to do with them because you don't want to talk and say, You just go into your little rewards I'm use, thing. And you I'm can using my points to today. <laughs> you don't want to go say that. See, even like, go on my rewards thing and do what? They'll tell you the things you can use them yeah. for. Yeah. Which is usually either cash or you can use them at discounted rates for Apple or whatever the fuck. You can pay for trips. You can get, ro- you can get I, rooms. I bought a few flights. flights. What is like? Oh, whatever. Let me out. But it's a better one. It. Just let Toy do it, man. Toy got you. Then I start feeling like if I get somebody like Toy involved, they're going to steal all my points. <laughs> Cause they know what to do with the points. <laughs> Yo, I can yeah, turn it it's got five hundred thousand points. <laughs> I, I can turn your two million points into. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many points you got? Me, uh, hundred thousand, hundred thousand or something. Yeah. You use yours, right? Uh, I use all my JetBlue points, but not my Capital One joints. Gotcha. Yeah. So when you say hundred thousand, which one are you talking about? Oh, oh, collectively. You combine it. <laughs> I right, forget it. Because <laughs> I don't even know enough to joke. I'm really trying to get it. Because I just, I just, I just, the funny thing about it, I just checked because I'm going, <laughs> see, yo, ish. Yo, ish. Oh, right, I'm out. <laughs> yo, ish, what? <laughs> what? What's going on? Ish is shit on you, whatever. <laughs> ish, damn. I don't, but I don't even, I can't get the joke because I'm stupid. Me and you, I use a lot. No, nah, nah, fuck you, nigga. I use a lot of my jet blue ish, points. Can you tell me what you laughing at so I can laugh too? <laughs> I'm laughing at your picture. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Flip said, I got 100,000 points. This nigga looked at me like, <laughs> Yo. No, I looked at you when he said, my capital one point. So I was like, oh, <laughs> that, that ain't the same point. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Capital one point. That's not true. He's big shaming. Ca- That's, That's, That's not true, yo. Capital one point. I got higher points. Stop, dog. Capital one. Every point is equal? No, yeah, the Capital One got a high. A high I'm asking guy. you, Antoine, <laughs> is every point equal? Stop trying to shit on your man, nigga. Me, I don't know enough about points to shit on nobody. I'm about to shit. Tell you, every every. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what yeah, it, I, I understand. I understand. I'm asking I if every point is equal. Yes. Okay. Why well, you bite your lip when you said yes? Word. <laughs> Check my <laughs> that was the most thing. convincing yes. You're <laughs> lying, yo. I don't think that's I'm not, true. I'm not lying. But I'm gonna take your word for no, it. Like, I don't West think that's true, though. Are not the same as. Yeah. The, what the fuck are you no, talking about? That, Capital One point. That's bro. not true, bro. You could do. <laughs> No, it's not. All points are not created equal. Listen, stop. You this. got a Capital One Adventure Plus. Yes, it's the same. You start naming if you got a chase, have you got added some shit? Now hold on, hold on, wait, Adventure wait, wait, wait. Plus. That's what I'm this telling you. It depends on what Capital One hold card on. you got. They said how much of fifty thousand Capital Points worth. It all depends on how your points are redeemed. It's it like depends. you receive oh, yeah. only two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop, yo. No, that's not. That's not true. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think our points could take us the same places. <laughs> I don't know enough about points. Had a headache. Oh, but I don't know. If the, it's me and Kobe on, nigga. I don't think the arm and, arm and yard would take them points. I only got $500 in points. You need way more than that at the arm and yard. You probably need, that's probably like the pesos. That's that's point peso. Yo, Jack, don't do that to you. Wait, you, got, you ain't got Amex points? I do. How many of those? That, how Not many that of, much. That's what I meant. Not that much. Do you use your how Amex? But how many? I do. Oh. But how many? But I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> not that Coe, much. nah, not that much. Coe, not that much. Yeah. Not that much. You got a hundred thousand? Nah, hell no. No, I'm just reading here because I, I I pulled up the it's American not, Express points. It's not. I'm telling you, points to what the value is. Hundred thousand says it's six seventy. Ninety thousand six hundred three. Eighty thousand five. Six hundred dollars. She might. Wait, what? I'm saying it again. A hundred thousand American Express points are worth about six hundred seventy dollars. Depending on which American Express credit card you have and what you spend the points on. Okay. It depends on what you You'll got. get the best value if you spend your points for travel, but there are multiple redemption options. Okay. My higher points is lit. I'm up on there too. Okay. I got loot points. Just, Starbucks yeah. points? Nah, I'm not. I got, I got all the points. <laughs> Chick fil A points. Yeah, I got, I got yeah. Yo, Ish, why are you making faces? To put me on, How son? many Capital One points you got? How many C Town points you got? <laughs> Oh, that's, 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 you can't say that to how black many, people, nigga. How many extra? Oh, you shop at C Town, boy? Yes, I'm shopping C Town. Oh, I oh, live man, in I'm New judging York. you. Well, that, was a, that, that was a good C Town. They redid your C Town. Yeah, like, nice. That yeah, one was fire. Yeah, yeah. Floor, to, floor to fucking ceiling glass windows. Um, Paul's got that in, 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 in your neighborhood? Nah, no, 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 no. Not in that. Well, not far, but not now. Yeah, that shit. In his old crib, across the street. C Town. That shit was fire, fire. Um. A what are we on here? What bad Dwayne Reed points. Yo, having a point conversation. Yo, so I got Walgreens rewards points. I got those. What's your hotel points? What hotel points? Do you have like? <laughs> yeah. See, so this is all right. The real way you you finesse the points is tell you us don't, you don't use the points on your Amex. So when you go on the Amex travel, right, you could go directly to Amex travel and book vacations. So let's say Amex. Tra uh, Let's say going to Maldives bungalow is a million Amex points. You don't do that. Toy taught me where you take those Amex points because they're transferable. So your flight might be, if you book directly through Amex, might be 600,000 points. Mm -hmm. You could now take those, those um, points, send them to United where it might be 250 for the same exact flight. So when you're using them through the vendors, the, the flight totals are less. So Southwest might be running a, a special where it's, you know, two for one, shit sense. like that. You cut out the middle bit. Don't use Amex to book the travel. You send your Amex mm. points to another vendor. You send your Amex points to Marriott. Got it. You send your Amex points to the Hilton. See, you send your Amex fine. points to other that people. And then you could use them better. You understand what I'm saying? You get more bang for your buck than booking on Amex Travel or booking on Capital One Travel. You 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 send your points to the vendor directly, and you you can stretch it way longer. Pause. Thank you. You just put us on. Yo, your publicist. <laughs> <laughs> now you gonna add, now you gonna add travel oh, agent and all, all the other shit. Now you, you travel, travel agent too? too? No, he gonna add that now. Hmm. Is publicist the one? That, pub, publicist is the first. First position of the staff that you or you filling it out. I'm being serious. <laughs> I don't have a staff, Joe. Well, I have an attorney. Which so you have a staff that's lawyer publicist too. That's a staff mm -hmm. okay. that make the ish machine run. I'm asking. You're right. Well, why are you asking though? Man? I'm asking. Are there any more in the circle that you've no. added already? What's next? Nothing. Who else you need next? Nothing. Personal assistant. Not need it. Why are you procrastinating? If you're an assistant, you got an accountant. Accountant, that's part of the team. That's three. Three. I got one as well. See, let's put this together, man. Let's put this together. That's three. Why you want to put it together though for? For content, just. I don't need nothing else. Manager. You got. You got all. I don't have no jobs lined up. Not seeking no jobs or no situation. Room, react. I think it's just You're crazy. No. Nah. Why not? Um uh one, I'm busy, just had a baby, so a lot of that stuff is, 
you know, at, it's down the road for me. If if I, I don't even know if I want to be in a media space. If I want to stay in the media space, then I think it'll be um, uh, smart. You think you only need a manager if you're in a media space? For what I do currently? Yeah. I don't need it for nothing else. And the other, my other businesses. You said you only, want to write a book. Yeah, I don't need a manager to write my book. But to go secure. You need PR to write your book. But the shop, no, you need a manager as well. To, to speak to the different publishing houses. Today the different. Shop it. Today different. So, oh, you, you would use chat GT. Today is different. It's a different landscape today. You use chat GT. Today, publishers don't necessarily hold as much clout as they used to. So you could do a bunch of the shit on your own. And you don't need a publishing house to necessarily push your shit. So you go direct? Yeah. Like, out of pocket, I could literally bound my book. I could do everything myself. Why well, are you doing that shit again that you do? All right, got it. What? The, buy, the, buy your own number. No, it's the label. It's the label. You bypassing the label. You know how y'all be like, yo, if you got enough money, you mm-hmm. bypass the label. Yeah, you, know, you hit a ceiling when you do that, too. That's the part that... That's possible. That's possible. But at so, least I'll be testing the waters on my own to see what the, the things are, and then I'll make decisions as I get more information. Right now, my information is limited. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want to be the, the, uh, the young kid that takes the bag if I don't have to take the bag. You know how y'all use that as an analogy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would be interested to hear your thoughts after you after your first book. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So more information will be available to you. For so, sure. you know, we we learning on the I phone. mean, we have an author in the room. We can ask him. Ah, oh, please stop. What, what you wrote a book? You wrote, yeah. What? I didn't have a manager when I wrote a book. No, Did we, you, but you have a book. Yeah. I do. So I got a book, too. You wrote it? Mm-hmm. It was mine. This one is the American, the All-American. The book with all your lyrics in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's my lyrics. It's lyrical. Oh, is is it's out? Can it be purchased? I'm not sure if it's still uh, printed. Is it? It's still so. purchasable. No. I'm sure they're out there. You could probably still purchase one. It's gonna be. I have one. Second, like retail market. I mean resale. Yeah, yeah, resale. The uh, self-published authors that I speak to today all speak to having a real difficult time selling. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you get ice cubed. It's Adam Silver for everybody. Smalls. Smalls from Starless, the security. Uh, big black boy. My man, Smalls. Small. You know Smalls. Smalls an author. Smalls has like 10 to 12 books. What? Yes. I try to get in business with Smalls. Like, I'm watching him. I'm waiting to see what's going on. But he was just speaking about the struggles he, he has with when you upload to Amazon and you upload your book and how they handle you and how they suppress you. And how they oh, yeah, start. they probably yeah, treat you like that. It's the like same we see with an artist who yeah. upload. You're not on a playlist. You're not on here. You're not there. You got to play by our games if you want the and play by our rules. If so you I guess that's what I'm saying. If you did the independent run for your first album, which is a book in this instance, mm-hmm. and you saw or you learned some of these tricks that, and hurdles that they were putting in the way of the independent author. Your second go round, if you chose to even speak to the publishing houses, not deal with them, but or if just they chose to, to speak to you. Yeah. So let's they say would fr- need to speak to somebody, right? So let's say your first book is a success. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what success. Success look- is relative. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. I don't know what success Makes more than you like. spent. Makes I believe what? I believe your first book would be a success for you. Ten thousand copies. So say say your first book sells fifty thousand copies, right? That's a lot. That's we don't platinum. have to put, that's, that's, have to put numbers. That's platinum. On. That's, makes, that's a lot. That's I'm a lot. Of it makes more money than Please. you spent on it. I'm with Parks. That's a success. That makes a success. I don't know if that's success in my book, but well, then then I want to hear what success <clears throat> is in your book. Fifty thousand is different. That's I think that's thirty thousand books is platinum, right? That's, that's, we could look that up. Best, like thirty thousand books is bestseller shit. Yeah. Um. So let's just say 10,000 using your numbers. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to learn from that. You're going to see where you could have did this better. You're going to see where you could have did that better. Potentially now people might be knocking on your door. It depends on what um Selling 10,000 books is probably also really good hard. In by the short, way. <laughs> the New York Times bestsellers list requires an author to make a minimum of 5,000 5, book, book sales. sales. 
Mm. Higher depending on the list yeah. in a single week across diverse retailers and from multiple geographic locations. I would imagine it's tough to sell a book, though. So it says qualifications little, aside. It's tough to sell an album. Qu- so qualifications word. aside, if you are a new writer at a big publisher, so that's important, and you've sold more than 10,000 copies of a novel, you're in very good shape. Mm. If you sold more than 5,000, you're doing pretty well. So we talking 30 and 50. All right, like, so I need to scale my numbers down. Yes. Then you need to scale your numbers down too. True. So selling, a thousand books. Selling a thousand books selling is probably that, really fucking hard. And that's why I think, well, you being in media is a cheat code now. Yeah, it is. It is. Definitely is. It would be. I wouldn't want to leave if that's the bar. I'm trying to put a book out and be in media. Yeah, you should. The media is free promo. They saying for your book to be a success, they are looking at if it can sell more than ten thousand over its lifetime. And we talking, yeah. And I heard the book residuals are nuts. One of the bigger publishing houses stepped to me about a book, and and offered offered decent coin. Not yet though. Not yet for me. I think I have a good idea of what a Joe Budden book can sell, and I need to go get more information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Before I start sitting down talking about some shit. Fuck you you got to just plan out what you want to write about first, too. Yeah, what do you mean more? You this, huh? What you having a seizure or something? <laughs> that, was a, that cough was unique. <laughs> that was work, nigga. Yeah. Startled might, me. Might need to see a neurologist or something. God nah, damn. Look at you. Just give me a second, man. All right. What, what you all saying? Yeah, take your time. Yeah, you just chill take out. Time. Take your time. I, no, I just... What are you yeah. saying? Yeah. He was about to speak and then said, yeah, just give me some time. <laughs> he just started coughing. <laughs> um, what more information you need to find out? Like, you needed to, you know. I know what you want. Because you always want to find out information. Book residuals. Yeah. I need to find out what's what. Who do you find what? that out from? Because you always say you gotta, that. You gotta How much does it cost to make a book? He always said, yeah, I need to find out more information. information. Like, okay. that's... Got to search for the information. So are you going to allow somebody to teach you the information or you need to? I've been speaking to people for years about this. Okay, got it. So you take advice from others. They stepped to me two years ago about a, a, a big book. It was going to be big. They offered me a lot of money. I took that and shopped it around to see what was going on. They're like, right, no, they do respect you. Like, it's respectable. But not yet. And with the book shit, they stepped to me two years ago so the book would be out now. Like, that's what they, mm. that's what they do. It's like a two, three year process. Hmm. I definitely have a book coming. Pick your nuts if you look, up, if you look confused, Pick I'm not nuts. trying to drag. Pick your nuts up, bro. All right, I'm done with you. And, and you just, but I just said I don't know shit, so I'm not stepping into no field where I don't know shit. The creative part, yes. And but you said they offer you good money. But you said they offer you good money, so you know that every every all money today is good money. I don't have no conversation that's not good money. Got it. Yeah, you you are at a level where yeah, they, so that's they not shouldn't not even fear. approach you with respect. Out. Okay. Yeah. We gotta help this sell this book. Now that the number's lower like that. <laughs> it could sell 5,000 copies. Everybody say that. We better chill out. I'm not talking about ish, but I'm just saying with our level of, I didn't know it was 5,000. It's like I always tell people, you don't know how tough it is to sell one album. I'm shutting up because I don't know how tough it is I was just saying. to sell say one a book. book. And then that's until you got to be tougher than a song. Also, how they count? Versus- well, true. Yeah. Because uh-huh. there's book streaming too. But I mean, book streaming is fire. It is. Because it'd be like $15 for the book still. Mm? When you buy a book online? Oh, I never bought one. Yeah. I got Audible. Audible. I got Aud- audio books too. They're like 10, 15 yeah. bucks. Audible is what? Subscription based? I just let you read books? You're yeah, going to do your audio book? It reads it to you. You're going to do your oh, audio book? No, With that. my voice? Yeah, your own voice? No. Why not? Who'd you get? I don't think my voice is as compelling as it needs to be. If you had, any, if you had a choice, who would you get? Like, well, you go get work on making your voice compelling. Nah, fuck that. Y'all niggas be running from the broadcast work. I hate that. How? By what you just said. I don't. In the broadcast game, if 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 my boss told me y'all think audio book is broadcast and you your own boss. 
You your own boss. Can I finish my sentence? And I know you ain't about to pay some nigga to come in and read your book for you. <laughs> why would I not? Hey, yo, it was one night when I was, why would you do when that I was with, skating. If that voice is more compelling to nigga, me. I ain't talking about James Earl Jones and them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, shout out to James Earl. Yeah. Read your book. Yeah. Anybody would pay James Earl Jones to read a book. He has one of those voices in the book. Somebody might pay you to read a great voice. But I have one of those voices too. You do. There you go. But, but why you can't work on your voice to read the same to broadcast how, the way you want it. You, you see how you contradict yourself? Tell me. Because why would I do that when I could just pay somebody so I could take my mind power and work on something else? I didn't contradict myself. Anybody would pay the creme de la creme. No, I'm not in, even in my about conversation. The I'm not talking about the creme de la creme. Yo, yo, yo you're not gonna go pay if you get on the elevator and Richard start talking and Richard got a dope voice. You not. You not. I'm not talking. You're not well, gonna pay him. Well, Ish, I'll tell you why. As uh, as I imagine that most of your sales, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way, would probably be come from, coming from people that listen to the podcast and like Fans of your hearing. Voice. So they want to hear your voice. They want to hear makes you a genius point read points. the you, book. You are correct. Like when I get an audio book and it's the author reading it, that's way better than when sure. I you are hear some Hell other. Yeah. Prod- no yeah. matter how the author sounds, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Prod- yeah. Prodigy that's shit was good when he. That's read a really it. good yeah. point. That is a really good point. So yes, you would want to read your own book. That makes and sense. your voice is you have fans from doing this, so your voice is that not makes sense. bad. No, that makes sense. That's actually dope. Same, I mean, book a, a really good um, assessment. Which is why you should work on your broadcast voice if it's not to where you want it to be. <laughs> Pardon me. I don't know where it should be. Then how could you say that statement that you said, which is, I don't feel my voice is as compelling. That, but, but where I think it needs to be, I'm saying I know when I hear other people speak, that shit is doper than my voice when I hear myself speak. Yeah, but you know everyone hates their own voice, right? No, yeah, that, that's true. Most people yes, do. Yes, they do. Most people hate their own voice. You, you hate your voice? And it's physics. I, I once did. Yeah. Really? It's physics. I've worked Explain. on this for years. <laughs> when you speak, the vibrations, <clears throat> um, it's like a full spectrum of sound because you're actually vibrating your own skull and Everything. ears. Skull when you hear box. it back, you're missing mad frequencies than you're used to. So you oh, don't sound like you to you. You don't sound like it. Yes. Makes sense. Because when, when we're in the... Pre- when we're in the um, while we're speaking, yes, it's, it's I don't you, sound like your whole shit is vibrating your skull. Yeah, yeah, you, you hear, hear, you, you hear, hear it different. True. I'm talking about when, when we I'm play it back. I know. I still no, don't like it because you don't. Your oh. your voice <laughs> is off putting to you because it doesn't sound like you to you. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's why it's saying. off. That's why most people are off put by their own voice. Got you. That's why singers be having a thing in their ears. Singers have a thing in their ears, so that's right. usually for. Um, they can hear. Same, same way I have it. <laughs> Communicate. That's what you can hear. Yeah, right? it's like can hear. Yeah, it's like earphones, but without wearing earphones. That's headphones. like when I'm out and somebody trying to talk to me. I got to go like this to hear what the hell you're saying. Mm-hmm. That's what they do in the news. Yeah, you can't hear. Y'all hate y'all voices? I hate my voice. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Nah, I'm not, I'm not fond voice. of my shit like that. I hate yours. Nah. You I've become it. accustomed to my shit. Like all jokes aside, <laughs> when, hate even hate. When, when you used to be telling me to do a pie back in the day, I ain't like that shit because I ain't like my voice. Like, no, I'm good. Sound like That's part of why I can't listen to the sound like a fucking Things that I don't like about your like broadcast voice dodo. is shit that, to me, it's you fixable. do to your broadcast voice. That's why I say to work on it. Like when you talk low? Yes. Talk low or move the mic. Ish is typically Ish a confident, intelligent, so when he knows something or when it's debate time, he speaks with a certain cadence. Mm-hmm. And that's attractive when you're a talker. When he trying to be cool because he think that's cool, it's unattractive as a talk. You low. Uh, like, what the fuck am I talking I about? Being, hey. I think I'm being cool. Yeah. You do that, though. It's you, yeah. uh, you know. Everyone does it, by the way. You do it too, Joe, sometimes. I received that. Yeah. No, he don't do that that much. No, he does it sometimes. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Parks well, can see when I'm doing it. Hey, I'm, I'm sure. There's times where he's disinterested and he sounds disinterested. Oh, true, true, true. That's he talks, true. He, goes, he but, does it. He, he does the same shit. It's yeah, just I just try to boldly say that nah, I'm you, disinterested. You, 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 yeah, you, you, yeah. Yo, dog. I hate. Wait, what? what, what <laughs> all right, let's wrap. All right. <laughs> I try to say it with some vigor. <laughs> Fuck out of here with this bullshit oh. topic. <laughs> Why you want to hear this dumb shit? Um, what else do I have for y'all? I just had something for y'all. All right, listen. I'm gonna play a clip mm-hmm. of a gender fluid teacher saying. Gender fluid teacher. He's teaching, says, or she? They're, they're teaching gender says fluidity. Says it's wrong that parents transferred their kids from their class after becoming aware, uh, because they are male wearing makeup. 
Sometimes with school choice, it gets a little bit tricky, right? I had my first class had the so first advice. day I had 25 students. By day two, I had 19 because six parents switched out of the class because they saw me and they were like, there's no freaking way before I even got a word in. As a parent, I would want to know, like, do you not think that that is OK or they're right to withdraw when they see you? Because ultimately, you're probably an excellent educator. I appreciate that. Um, I, I have no doubt about that. But I think we, we get into muddy waters when we start trying to take that choice away from the parent. Do I think that it is okay for a parent to see me and go, not around my kid? No, I don't think that's okay. I feel like that's really crossing the line because you are, for lack of better words, discriminating against me openly. That's like seeing a black teacher and being like, there's no way. It is the same. It no, is the same. Not. Sometimes with school choice, it gets a little bit tricky, right? I had my first class. I see why that's triggered. I want it. I wanted to get you guys' take on that. Being gay and being black are not the same thing. I wish they stopped that. It is very... Um, I can't believe that we still have to have this argument. No, it's, today, a, it's a white lady, rural conservative white lady. I forgot her name. Mm -hmm. I just know saw her uh, a couple days ago. Oh, no, I thought, Skinny face. The, I thought you were talking about the old white lady that did all the... Um, no, no, no. Dope. It, uh, for, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. For um, it's a rural uh, white lady, rural slender face. And she went crazy the other day. And I was shocked because they tease her for her conservative shitty views. Uh -huh. And she was like, yo, we have to stop comparing um, gender fluidity uh, or any um, sexual choices or whatever the case may be to being black. She's white. She was like, yo, that shit is insulting to black people. It's insulting to the struggle that they have overcome throughout uh, she talked about slavery, Jim Crow, like she was going. I was like, oh shit. And she was just like, yo, it's not fair. Um, and she said, white women, we have to stop doing that too. Like, because women will compare women's rights to uh -huh. black rights. Sure. And she was like, yo, that shit is a horrible, horrible, horrible comparison. Are y'all saying that, that all discrimination is not the same? <sighs> sort of, but not that it's vaguely. Not. Yeah. It's not the same. Because if you could, I can't look at someone and be like, oh, they're gay. Definitively. What do you mean? I can't look at someone and be like, oh, he or she is gay True. or whatever. Definitively. I can look at anyone and say they are black. Definitively. Most, that, most that, cases. That's, except so for, that's what, that's wait, what wait, a, most wait. times. He's right. Most that's times. what upsets me with the Irish people or Italian people hmm. or any other race or uh, ethnicity at that point because they'll say, yo, my grandparents came here. We had to endure these things. Mm -hmm. Yo, and I'm like, yo, once you lose your accent, you white. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you could be of um, Jewish descent. When somebody sees you, they don't know that you're Jewish. When you see us, fam, you know we are black people with something that we can't hide from. Throughout history, there's a lot of people that change their names. They'll lie about what their ethnicity is or whatever the case may be to acclimate into society. Uh, Italians got persecuted when they first came here. Mm -hmm. Irish people got persecuted when they first came here. But after one generation, you are Irish. Nobody knows you fucking Irish True. unless you mm -hmm. tell them. Mm -hmm. What would y'all do if, your kid, if you take your kid to class? And that's the teacher that you I know. see. So we, I'm getting there. I don't know. I, 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 I would hope that the, the open-mindedness in myself would let the key, teacher stay there to, to see what the message was and see if they were a good teacher. Now, if you started, because I've seen videos of teachers teaching certain shit in the classroom that I don't want my kid learning at a young age, then I'll pull them. But I don't think I would just pull them based on um, physical uh, appearance. Okay. It'd be a conversation with my kid. So, you know, it would just be, a, I would have to be a conversation with my kid. Age matters too. Yeah. I think the age matters. Depending they on didn't say how old these no, kids were that were being transferred. Didn't, didn't say what grade this teacher taught. So wait, when you say age matters, would it matter more if they were younger or matter more if they were older? I think if if you're older, it's a better conversation that you can have with your kids. Okay. To where they'll be um, more understanding of certain shit. Okay. Um, let's, let's let's say your kid is seven. Let's make it seven. Um, I I I think I hope that well, I got a seven year old. 
I wouldn't be I wouldn't take her out of school. Um but I would out definitely class. I wouldn't take her out of the class, I'm sorry. Oh, you wouldn't all right. But I would definitely want to monitor what messages are being taught to my kid. Definitely. Because some of the stuff that they're teaching in school today, I don't necessarily agree with. And even if I do agree with it, I just don't think that the ages in which they are teaching it are appropriate to some of these kids. I think that's fair. I by agree. The way. I agree with that. I think that's fair. You guys? I don't have kids, so I'm kind of hushing up on this one, but I, I kind of take Ish's stance on this. I, I don't think I would react unless I heard something that I didn't like. Seven. Because if they're just whatever they are, I don't, I don't know what their gender, whatever that is, I don't want to misgender them or whatever, mm -hmm. but if they're just a good teacher and just happen to be trans or whatever the fuck it is, whatever, you know what I mean? But if they're, I don't know, teaching some sort of message I don't, wouldn't personally agree with, I don't know what that message would be, but if I heard my kid come back re repeating some rhetoric that I didn't like, I would probably transfer them. Do you think that trans teacher, trans, because in school these days they are teaching more about uh, gender fluidity. Gender fluidity. Uh huh. Right. So, if a trans teacher is teaching, say, a class about trans, the trans class, not not about trans, but not <sighs> about sexuality and yes, and gender, but but, 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 but identification, but identifying teaching like a seven year old. Like, yes, uh -huh. if you they're doing that. Some people are doing yeah. that. I mean, they have it documented. They had a whole shit about it. Uh -huh. We don't have to get into. They that. are doing like it. The yeah. mega churches, right? Yeah. <laughs> they doing it. The what? Sneaks at the mega church. Like, see, oh, like, yo, sure. shut up, yo. The mega churches are not that's teaching the real, that. That's the real Rico I'm waiting for. Yo, oh, go ahead. Oh, now man. you're talking. Righteous <laughs> Gemstones covers it every week. But you see, why you just did that? That's the, the real. Mega churches, why you just doing a different anomaly? Why you just do something in there like to, 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 to justify something else? Like the churches. No. They're teaching the kids about man on man and all that, other, which is nothing wrong with it to each his own, but they're teaching these kids that about sexuality at young ages. Now, let's talk about the, what are the churches doing? I learned about sex when I was in fourth grade from a teacher. Okay. In general. But did they talk about it in a they biological didn't. sense more so? More, than? more biological, but with some, okay. with some caveats about, you know, love. It wasn't, about por it wasn't pornographic, but they're, you know. Talking there was a kid that expressed his uncomfortability of what a teacher was. I think he was with other tw it was a white kid. Uh -huh. And he said that, I'm, I'm going to find a clip. I'm going to find a clip before... So that being like, said, I don't think I don't think they taught us about. He was. I don't think they talked about homosexuality in fourth grade. No, no. When I, but they didn't talk about that. But it, fourth grade is. What, I know nine that years this was old, in the, right? I was in the nine, in the nineties. But grade, back back grade, back in fourth grade is nine years old, correct? Probably yeah. somewhere. I, I I always go back to at what age did y'all know what y'all liked? I was a kid. I was a kid. I had a, my first crush probably. It was probably first grade or something like that. Like when I. All right. I had a girlfriend in kindergarten. Now, what if you like boys? At that age, they teachers was when we were young. Teachers did not teach about. I mean, you heard about men and women, but they didn't teach about that shit. I know a name and age. You're a sicko. They didn't teach about that <laughs> I shit. My first girl. You had a girlfriend in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I, had a, I had a girlfriend young too. All right, yo, I'm done here. I'm done with this podcast. <laughs> Why? Because you was a late bloomer. You know what I mean? You wasn't him. No, no, no. You wasn't him when Kim. you was in kindergarten. I was not. I know. Was, you know what I mean? Not. I was him. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't in ice class. The things you I niggas was, you know what I mean? going to do. Yeah, anyway, man. I know I know on my graham crackers, they was, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chocolate milk and graham crackers, I was him. I'm pulling my kid to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas sitting there trying to be all <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Man, serious be, serious question here. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you now I want you to expound too. Seriously. Right. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to ask you a question afterwards. Answer his first. Yo, if it's a good, what if he, it's a good He didn't teacher? ask me no question. He said, why though? Oh, you said why? Uh, because I, I, I believe school should teach the school shit. I know we kids, so you learn to fight and do the other shit. But... Once you start getting to the point where whatever's happening up there could act as a distraction to what my kid is supposed to be learning, then I'm going to take action. That's, but that's if a girl was up there wearing too much makeup like she was in the club, I'm going to have the same problem. True, like, it's not true. a, my, I don't have a, a problem with trans teachers, any of that. Do what you want. 
But extraness, I don't remember too many teachers wearing a bunch of makeup in, in my school when I was growing up. We was different. They different now. These Today, when I go pick my kids up from school, or when I go pick my youngest son up from school, I don't see not one of them with a makeup, a lot of makeup on. I think 30, that would be alarming to I me. I think 30 year olds be finer now than they used to be back in the go day. To, mm-hmm. Go to that. I forgot who mm-hmm. I was just talking about this with. Go to and her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Go Te- with Teacher Bay. Teacher Bay, I don't know what you're talking about. You know Teacher Bay. You called on the phone before. Oh, toy. Uh, yeah. What about her? It's teachers that look like that. It's a bunch of them. A lot. Summertime, they got the juicy sweatsuits on, all of that shit. I, I think y'all doing that is like uh, that shit that y'all just said, black. Uh, what was the shit that shouldn't be compared? Black, uh, being black to being no, trans. You said no, but you said, though. yo, the, the, you don't see that's teachers wearing Teacher much Bay makeup. don't wake up. Teacher Bay don't wake up and put this ginormous ass on her. True. That's just her. That's just her body. Whatever yeah. she wears, that ass is going to be is gonna, is gonna be there. So to me, that's different from excessive makeup in front of kids. I've seen her in her classroom, though. In, in her classroom, she'll have some of the tightest jeans in America on. That is a distraction. You said Teacher you, Bay? Yes. You said you're just talking about b- kids being distracted. I'm just saying. But if I thought that that was happening, I would put my kid out of that class, too. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all I was. That's to, not that's only. That's all I was getting. No, that's yeah, what I was getting yeah, yeah. to. I was getting to because you saying like yo, a lot of yeah, the school that Lex goes to, it's not a lot of teachers with makeup, et cetera, et cetera. On some of these, you know, it's that's all regional. But they fire some of the teachers for that too. Well, yeah, because it'd be a lot of for having for, makeup on, or for, either like, make, just looking makeup, makeup, or you know, overexposing. True. Short dresses, skirts, and stuff like that. They fire to let the teacher go. Yeah, I'm not playing that. I mean, again, my kid is five. Mm-hmm. Like. Mm-hmm. Again, age matters in this. So, if my son was older, mm-hmm. then maybe go ahead and put a so little eyeliner be, on or would, whatever. Would y'all, would, so, yeah, would y'all be fine about the teacher teaching about sexuality at the, at that young age? No, that kids, was the question that no. I was about to ask. Teaching no. your kids more than you. you Why than would you, the teacher be teaching my five year old or seven year old in this matter they about are doing sexuality? That now. They, they are doing that. They it's they happening, Joe. Come on. They are. And the kids themselves are that don't learning me, something they about sexuality. Why? Tell me why the teacher is teaching a seven-year-old about The curriculum has changed. We ain't make the yeah. curriculum up. Y'all are saying about, that that's uh, the uh, curriculum? Yes. They're teaching yes. about like, like sex comfortability. Yeah, bro. Fluidity. Fluidity, yeah. Instead of, it, just, instead of them just saying man, woman, child, it's, it's letting them know that, hey, there's other options out there. Not saying you have to, but hey. I'm not saying man, that man, that's the standard, the way you're Woman, woman, bro, when you listen, uh, listen to this. I'm when serious. you listen, When you use words like curriculum, that means across the board. Yeah, when you listen to Miss Rachel. I don't Rachel, think that that's happening across the board. When you listen board. to all the cartoons now, mm. they've modified some of the nursery rhymes that we that used to listen to. They've modified them to be more. Um, inclusive. Inclusive. Cool. I'm only talking about a parent sending their seven year old to school at seven years old, which is second grade. Mm-hmm. Yes. And y'all are telling me or third. Have a blast. Eight. They're telling kids oh, it's okay to yeah, if you, you may yeah. have these feelings and it's okay if you have these feelings. And trying, I'm pulling my kid out to school. And the reason why they're trying I'm pulling to pulling my kid out to school is because in a heartbeat. They're trying but, to make the other kids not feel abnormal. Too. That's great. Isis's I'm pulling was, my kid out that school. Isis' point was, yo, what? when did you know what you liked? Why I, just, my, I just want them to teach. That would be alarming to me if the second grade teacher was in there teaching teaching that. That would be alarming to me. They just, I don't think they're teaching like, they, they don't get into specifics or details. I think they probably just say shit just like say, sometimes there's a dad and a dad and yeah, sometimes yeah, there's a mom. Or no. Or you, you may have a feeling toward little Timmy yes, and it's okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, Y'all trying to just uh, nah, No I'm really not, really not Joe I Bro we having a Grown up conversation If you had a second grade son And your second grade Or third grade son Was gay Right And he feels awkward The teacher's job And responsibility now Is to let him know That that you is are okay normal. You are normal You're not abnormal And you shouldn't be ashamed For the feelings that you have So now that conversation Definitely has to be broached Ish I think that teachers Let me make sure I'm clear On what I'm saying I think that teachers should deal with students on a student to student basis. Sure. And sometimes I I'm totally with that. If that's happening, then from teacher to student, I may not mind the teacher trying best to comfort. I'm talking about the curriculum. I'm talking about a teacher standing in front of the class after drawing on the chalkboard to to say, Hey, 
if you like God, boy, if boy, if you're a boy and you are attracted to a boy right now, I'm here to tell you that that's okay. I don't think that that's probably in the curriculum. What I do think they probably do, <laughs> what I do think they probably do is have like in English class, they might have a book that has some more open. Um, they have school Listen, books let me tell now you that are showing fellatio this, this is California. in the school book. This is California. Given to the kids. And they are showing from, man on man fellatio. This was I'm from, about to find one. Look, this was from 2022. This is California. California's new sex ed, sex ed guidelines encourage teachers to talk to students about gender identity, masturbation, and other sexual things. In what grade? I was trying to find the exact grades. I mean, that's important. the that's pictures important. of this, <laughs> I was, but the, the pictures they have here, they are children here. Like, I think this, my this first actual, grade. like, real sex ed, like I said, they taught us about penis and vagina in fourth grade. I think my real sex ed was until, like, seventh grade or something like that. Eighth grade, maybe? Health class? The fr- okay. But it's parts about sex that got the most attention during the public hearing. The framework tells teachers that students in kindergarten can identify as transgender and often often tips for how to talk about that, adding that the goal is not to cause confusion about the gender of the child, but to develop an awareness that other expressions do exist. And that's kind of what I'm saying. It's just letting kids know that, hey, just because you might feel something different, it's okay. And I think... That's why I always ask, anytime this conversation comes up, I always ask people one question. At what age did you know what you liked? And majority of people say, I was about five, I was about six, I was about seven. So now if you're at that age and you start to feel like, I like boys. I'm being shown something different than what I like everywhere. Is something wrong with me? That could fuck you up for the rest of your life if you're not shown that, hey, you okay too. I want to be clear in this topic that I was only pushing back against this being the curriculum. So they have books, right? I'm looking for three to five year old kids. Three to five. Uh-huh. Who are you? My body is special and private. Um, pink is for boys. Talking to Mike. Pink is for boys. Um, it feels good to be yourself. I love my spots. Uh, I like myself. They just had another one that talked about the private parts. I'm not mad at none of these. I'm not mad at these books for kids. I know, but they're between three and five years old. So you're saying old. the curriculum of the that. teacher going up there and saying, so you have a problem with the teacher saying anything, yep, in front of the class. When, how, do you, how do you, as a teacher, create a safe space there? What do you mean? For the potential, your potential gay students, how do you make How do you create a safe space if you don't say anything? And you're the teacher. They're in your classroom for majority of the day how do you now make that getting, child picked, They may be getting safe. picked on for being gay by the other. Just for, just for dress, looking different, playing different. All the boys is over here doing this and you over there. You get picked on. How do you, how does the teacher address that to the class? Because the class see it, not just that one student. You can, I, I think there's a way to do that without getting up there and teaching same sex, this, what if that, you, what if gender you, fluidity. But what? See, so you, you're making yeah, the problem tricky. out to be the gay kid. What if the problem? Whoa, whoa, is, no, I did. Well, ain't saying nothing about no, problem. I'm not, not, I'm not saying there's a problem with being gay. You're, 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 you're jumping. You listen, said you're making the problem listen, seem listen, like the gay can kid. Can I finish my thought? You're saying that if there's an individual problem with one of your kids feeling uncomfortable, your your teacher can come up to them and talk to them. What if the bigger problem is the rest of the classroom picking on the gay kid? That's true. I'm saying, oh, I thought I just replied to that. I'm saying you can address the class broadly and generally. Mm-hmm. You don't have to address, in you addressing the class in terms of respect and how to handle one another, I think that's totally separate than getting into gender fluidity and all these well, other what if the reason very complex why, topics. Why the, there's a, a tension or something in the classroom is because of the gender fluidity or sexual fluidity. Then of you the get sp- up there and say a portion of whatever Ice just said, yo, you acceptance, accept people the way they are. Everybody's different. Not everybody's the same. I'm with that. Oh, okay. That's different from the teacher teaching gender fluidity as a part of the curriculum. It is definitely okay. a part of the curriculum. I see what you're saying. I'm I see telling what you're saying. you. Because what they're trying to do is normalize um, the differences in gender uh, identity. And maybe, maybe that does need to be taught, but they at are. seven years old, yeah, they uh, are again. Because now it might be four yeah. or five kids, whereas when we were kids, it might have been four or five, but and we might have only known about one because uh-huh. the other four were able to hide it. I don't it think I knew about it. a gay kid in until maybe high school, and even then, I think the gay nah, kids it was, were. There were some still... kids when I was younger that were um, 
a little more feminine attributes than no most doubt. Of Same the boys. with mine, but they were still they, they weren't rope. outed as as homosexual until I don't think I, I don't think teased. we had anybody outed even in my high school. They got teased. No doubt they got teased, but that's um, that's what I'm saying is that it wasn't it wasn't okay for them to be gay essentially like. Yeah. It was not socially acceptable. They were they were teased. They were picked sure, on. Sure, and they, they weren't right. out until. Yo, this is a crap. Yo, dog. When we were kids, no times are different now. But when we was kids, everybody was called gay. The teacher didn't get up there and start trying to teach gender fluidity. They made it a point to do whatever they did to make sure all the kids respected each other and stop horse playing around while I'm trying to teach some shit. Y'all stop fucking around. But at six and seven years old, if it's a bunch of kids saying you're gay, you're gay, you're gay. I don't think the teacher gets up there and says, hey, no. this is a gay person. This is how a gay person loves another gay person. This is how other kids' households can look. You can have to do that. I don't think, I don't, yeah. When Lex start getting books, you're going to see it. I'm in the you. book? In the books. Bro, I saw on TV. Again, I don't know what Well, I'm age. sure they put it in the book. They put it in the cartoons. I don't want to misrepresent. They put it in the cartoons. They're everywhere. I don't want to misrepresent the age. I saw a book. I think it might have even been Ron DeSantis. And he was showing how it was an elementary school book and it showed man on man fellatio being given in the fucking school book. Uh, we didn't have that you know in what? high school. Y'all got me. And this is why I'm not allowing my kid to finish public school. Like we didn't have that in high school where they were showing. If no y'all start putting that in the books. Yeah, bro. I would like to have more say as a parent as Into to the curriculum. as as to what my kid is is gonna download of and when. True. That's true. You might you might be creating more questions for my kid than I got. Than it, uh, I don't know. And you see, might. I stand. See now with that, I stand on the side, and this is kind of what Ishwa said the, the very first time we had this debate. Don't teach sex at all. I agree. Don't do it at all. Because, but I get how. At this point yeah. today, but I, I, I get know, how it has. I to know, happen. Yeah. but I'm just so so. Sex. If one has to happen today, equality, inclusion. To make the other kids feel that, hey, I'm not just talking about this type of image. Mm -hmm. Y'all have an image too. So it's like, all right, today if I do one, I got to do both. That's the same thing I say about the TV shows, the same thing I say about the movies, the same thing, all of that. Like now it's both. It shouldn't be. I just want to remind people that my problem is makeup. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's just y'all wouldn't say something if y'all said the teacher, your seven year old, was wearing too much makeup, and we leave this. I might say, "Hey, Miss Johnson." What are y'all thought? All right, so what are y'all thoughts on 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 Sexy Red Pop uh, appearing at schools performing her record? She didn't perform her record. I know that what she wrong. did. I know okay. what she did. Right, but so she's but she's pop appearing at schools. Mm -hmm. For giveaways and whatever. Her song is being played as she appears at schools. What's and her we, song? My, uh, my, my Pussy Pink. pink. Oh, my Booty okay. Hole oh, Brown. Oh. It's a slap. <laughs> it's a slap. And, and they knew all the, the words. kids know the words. Yeah, no and doubt. the kids are going crazy and there's backlash because they're saying, well, she shouldn't be at these schools. I think the schools should, should probably should know that, that song. That being said, I, I think I talked about it here when I was, um, I went upstate to, my friends own a, a farm and they did a community event to give food to um, poor neighborhoods, essentially. And I was DJing. And these kids came up and like, hey, can you play XYZ and YZX? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I put that shit on. These kids were probably eight years old, mind you. This was just all ice music. Op, kill, 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 shit. So these kids know the music. And I'm not saying that she should be performing this in schools. The school should vet that. And she was at a high school. Oh, it was high school? Yeah, it was a high school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Bam. It's different. It's different. I still. I'm just saying I, these kids I are think, listening to all this shit. I still think that's inappropriate. The school should vet that. I think that's inappropriate for her to go to a high school and be singing a song, my po my pussy pink, my my booty hole brown. I th I think that's inappropriate. Maybe it was the edited version. But I wouldn't give. <laughs> my cookie I think. Pink. I mean, the kids filled in the blanks. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I think it's inappropriate. Pink. My poo poo. My cookie pink. Okay. What about now the next what? part? Now what? <laughs> they, I think they blink it on the other one, if I'm not mistaken. I've heard the edited version. My cookie pink, blink, blink, brown. 
Nah. My yodel. My don't. ring ding. <laughs> please Yo. don't. Please don't make the ish clean version. <laughs> oh, my funny please, bone. Please, please, <laughs> please, it's fine. It's, it's no, fine, I actually buddy. like ish clean version. It's fine. That's a great concept. Please don't. <laughs> That's a great concept. Please don't make any more clean versions <laughs> ever. Yeah, do oh, Kai on my neck, man. my back next. Yeah, word. I'm telling you. <laughs> you got to think about that. I, I think that's inappropriate. Oh, I don't man. think I just don't think that um because again even at high school every high schoolers um if uh development is not the same. You don't think some of these kids know what the booty hole color should be? No, I think some of these kids are taking <laughs> it's it educational. In, I know they're taking it in their booty hole. Some of these kids probably. Oh, shit. What I'm saying is some of them are not. Some of them may have different teachings at home. Some of them may come from really, really, really religious families. That you know what I mean, like all of they those. They didn't have the trans teacher. They didn't. <laughs> so all of those things need to be taken into account. You know what I'm thinking about right now. Did y'all have I the same energy that. when Lil Nas X went to the school with the little kids? Just asking. I didn't know he went to the school with little kids. Okay, moving on. I might walk back a little bit of my shit because if I was in school, I'd have been fly with the trans teacher. I'd have been fighting for that teacher. Like, that's the teacher that I'd have been the most fly with and other niggas would have been trying to get rid of and I'd have been on like, nah, that's fucked up. You got rid of my favorite teacher. Especially if they're and good I wouldn't have wanted yeah. make And I wouldn't have wanted makeup to stop that. I would have fought for her or him. Look at you growing in the middle. In 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 he was just potting before. Sometimes you just No, because you look at yourself and, ha and you look at the handling of your kid different. Mm -hmm. But I had to look at me. I had to put myself in that spot I would be tight if my parents tried to pull me out of the class of a teacher I loved mm -hmm. for what, any reason I'd be rebellious yeah I get it I see it and fuck what you're talking about I want uh, the slaps at high school <laughs> that, that's fuck hey, if you got religious reasons why you can't listen to this and take your ass home after <laughs> just school go, go to the religious high school <laughs> yeah, yeah get your yeah, ass get your ass out of here go ahead, take your ass to St. Aloysius I'm not gonna lie I would have <laughs> I, I would paid more attention in school if they were bringing slaps through and if the teacher looked like no, go ahead if I had a teacher that looked and like some the of these teacher, teachers when man, you I'd go, have been in school and when, and when you go do the slaps right most of the time the teachers don't know you or the words to your song they going off how the kids are reacting to you that's true. That Until they true. hear the booty hole line. Joe, <laughs> she they know the today. Talking about my pussy. The pink. teacher knows today. We they just seen what the that teacher looked true. like. The That's teacher true. was twerking. These teachers are 30. They invited the, they invited the girl in there. <laughs> the teachers are 31, the teacher 29. Was like, oh, shit, is lit. I Yo, follow a page on Instagram of like <laughs> this black school. This is, there's a black school somewhere not over here, like with all these black teachers and they're young and a bunch of black kids. And there's a girl that takes the camera and goes up to each teacher and starts the lyrics to a song. And it's the flyest shit. So she just go up to every teacher, 21! Would you and do the something for me? And then they be like, uh, duh, uh, duh. <laughs> and some of them start dancing, hey, you do something for me. She'd be like, send Seema! Pass me. <laughs> pass who me got the keys, keys to my Bima? Who got the keys it's to my just, Bima? It's hilarious. It's funny what I you said. Doing. Pass me. That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb ass. Pass me the keys to my <laughs> carjacking him. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> What's up with you? It's your anniversary. It's your anniversary. It is my anniversary. That's how they do that shit. <laughs> That's how they text you. get your ass back she over hit you here. with the reason. Yo, so yesterday, <laughs> I'm in the reason. bathroom. <laughs> she the She's in the bed. Oh, no, something happened with her phone. Her phone was fucked up. So she had just went and picked up a new phone from Apple mm -hmm. and came back. She's in the bed with her new phone, and I'm in the bathroom on my phone. While I'm on my phone... <laughs> A screen popped up with a picture of her headphones, and it said, this device has been tracking you, and oh, yeah. it's showing me a whole route. This, head, this headphone can see where you've been in the yeah. last such and such. Yeah. I said, bitch, <laughs> I think you're slick. <laughs> you think you're slick? Get it off. Oh, <laughs> Whatever oh, you're doing, I you get head. it the fuck off. She my, got, air, she got I, AirPods? No, I told her the phone. Know. My phone. I never do that to my baby. I you she had some of the AirPods. She just got the phone. So my, as long as my AirPods are by your phone, then they can track each other. I said, all right, cool. But what happens when them AirPods get away from my phone? Oh, then they can't track. I said, all right. We're going to make sure. Are you using the bathroom? Yeah. I know you were shocked. I never seen nothing like that. I, she, she put that AirPod in your bag. Yeah, bro. we got we got the Air tags. That's so how I, niggas I, be I catching it. That's how people be catching their girls bro. though, because if you I put a, if like you that. put an Air tag in it, it pops up on your phone that you're being tagged. So what yes. niggas do is that they put the iPad in the car. 
Nigga, that's my old trick. I've been yeah, doing. You've been saying yeah, that, right? That's my old shit. Somebody else. It'll said tag you now, though. It'll. It'll now. If any device moving with you is connected to somebody's um, Find My, that's the the app. It'll tell you that. that? It'll tell you that there's a device traveling with you that's not registered to you. That's what it said. It'll let you know. And it's looking at you, and it shows and you a map or some shit. So next thing you do, next time that happens, there's a button on there that says locate it. Mm -hmm. And it will make that shit ring wherever it's at, True. and you'll find it. It'll it'll direct your phone, hey, follow this little arrow up. It's right here. And you can report it. Right. Yeah, yeah you shit. can report it. You it can block it. You can dead it. Yeah, the whole shit. That's right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, they See? got that. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Throw that shit off the roof. <laughs> you so dumb. Shall we? Go ahead, right there. Why are you not writing? <laughs> you didn't hear me? Oh, he put his hand up too. Oh, oh shit. Write it down. <laughs> no, he was showing you the right way to do it. He put his hand up. All right, that's cool, but write down the time. I, I thought you said No, that's not what he said. No. Next letter. Right, go ahead and write down the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty good. You can come in the rapper. No. What do y'all think, if anything, about uh, Ebro said that Drake has never spoken up about Black Matters. He also said he doesn't have to speak up about Yeah, he responded. Black issues. He responded. He said, cause he said context is lost. Drake doesn't have to speak about anything that he don't want to speak about. True. Uh, but to downplay what This Is America meant at the time that it hit, we did want somebody to say something, which I kind of said something similar. But what do y'all think about that part? The part about him saying Drake has never been the person to speak on any social black anything. I have a couple questions. He's not from here. Does that have any relevance? No. Not to me. Mm -hmm. okay. He's black. Still racism in Canada, too. Um, for, for, for me, it ain't about the black part. It's about the it's speaking of social issue. He's never spoken about anything outside of himself, is what he said. He dabbled even in verses. He said, something, but it's just like that's not what I do. It's a lot of people that haven't done that. So to hold him to that is a little unfair. We're, Maybe because his we're, so, he's, we're holding him to it because of what he said about Donald Glover's record. This is America. That's the only reason we're talking about. What did he say? Specifically, he said that record was over overrated and over, over awarded. Over awarded. Both. He said overrated and over awarded. Okay. That's the only reason we're talking about Drake as it pertains to this. I think they. I think they putting a spin on it. I think that. Um, again, without him specifically addressing the context, because even even in the creation of the record, he was trying to diss Drake at first, and then the record took a political spin. You know what I'm saying? No, it didn't take a spin. He scrapped that record. He, and, he and, scrapped that idea and, and, and went a and different way. With a different verses and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, come on, man, I have a strong opinion about. I something. don't really like that song. Like to me, that song outside That's of that's irrelevant. No, listen, listen to what I'm saying. So, how's he able to give you outside a of analysis that video? Like record, outside yeah. of the video, that song really don't speak to what was going on at that they time. They don't. That's what I'm looking at the lyrics right now, and I'm just sitting that's here like, why saying. is that like, even a? That song wasn't about that. That's how they feel, Joe. Play the record. <laughs> no, the record. please don't. I don't know. I, I forgot. This is America. They, some, cop, they copped out. No, that's Give me not some true. lines. They told me about their opinions about I, Give me a line. That's our opinion. The video is the video. The video is not eliminated from the song. The video was addressing something. And the time it dropped, he was addressing something. So even if y'all feel like he wasn't addressing something, he was. Okay. I'm only asking y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> how you feel about Drake never speaking on social matters or race-related matters, shitting on someone's attempt you don't feel good about to it. do it. That's it. I'm fine with it because you said you came out of nowhere and said that this shit started as a diss to me. So now I'm going to shit on that record. How do it you ain't got nothing to do with social nothing. You came out here and said, yo, this shit started as a Drake diss. Oh, word? I'm Drake. Guess what? That shit was overrated. Now what? Moving on. That's, I mean, how, I look I at, mean, that's I mean, how I look at that. I'm not okay. speaking on the on the social issue on either way in that sense. You came out of nowhere. Ain't nobody have to know that that was a Drake diss. Yeah, but he asked you a direct question. He said, how do you feel that Drake doesn't speak on social issues? I just said he ain't got to. Oh, so you don't care that, that, that one of the biggest stars don't speak anything that's going on with black people? No, I don't. Oh. I don't look to him for that. I, respect, so, I look, truthfully, I want to rhyme like common sense, but I did five mil. I ain't been rhyming like common sense. Hmm. 
So I don't look to I look to those for that from them. All right, who, who Lil is, Baby went and did it. Who are the Great those? record. Who are the Great record. You the bigger to? picture. Hold on, excuse me. And you know what he said after that? Don't look for me to do that no more. I did it once. That ain't my bag. I just said something, but I'm back over here. <laughs> who are the people you look to, to to do that? I don't look for that in my music period, so I don't look for it. You, you know, I listen to niggas that want to kill each other. That's not the music that I go, that's not my go-to anyway. Wait, hold on. So you don't look, hmm. At all? Yeah. No. That's a convenient dick you got, buddy. No. <laughs> That's some convenient pain. Yo. I, I, I don't, I don't want to hear, I don't listen to conscious rap. Like Even positive, if they, positive, I, mean, I don't want to hear you, that are shit. Are you talking about, talk about it on a record or talk about it, period? No, period. I That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah, think you're talking about records. No, no. Who no, do you look, about, oh, period. And, and period. Like, like, speak up on it. Speak up. Um, I think certain people, honestly, when, when you get to a certain dollar amount, you do get a little disconnected from what's going on down on the ground level. And I also think that they'll jam a camera in your face hoping you say something to catch you up. We've what? seen it happen to Wayne. We've seen it happen to Floyd Mayweather. We've seen it happen to a lot of our black people that's reached a certain level where they don't necessarily, and it's going to sound fucked up, but they don't really look at the color shit no more because they way up here, they just looking at green. What, what's the guy that died in jail that Jay talked about? Uh, Khalif Browder. Khalif Browder. Khalif Browder. Yeah. When Jay what spoke on? about that, and when Jay speak, speaks about like social injustice, how, did that, does that make you feel good? That's great of Jay to do that. Jay is a whole different. I don't compare none of them niggas to Jay. Oh. Jay is over here doing shit that they can't do anyway. And I don't mean just me. I'm just saying Jay, Jay has complete freedom. A lot of them niggas don't have that. But he's in the in the power. Drake and, has complete freedom. I don't know that. <laughs> oh shit. Right. Ice. Ice. I don't know. I'm Drake got a ice lot. You my nigga, ice. Ice. Okay. I'm done. Y'all okay. got it. Y'all got it. Ice, you got it. Wait, Ice. Got it. You don't think Drake got freedom? Sca ice? I didn't say freedom. Way. I said complete, complete freedom. Freedom. I uh, don't know that. So, so I don't know that. You don't think there's a lot of brands and businesses with you. You don't have the freedom to just come and say and do what you want. You're not an owner of all of these companies. Okay. You don't have that freedom because you they you can get pissed off. Or they can you can piss them off, and they can take. They and can now they're not fucking with you no more. Okay. And now you're in this different position. But I don't. You got to play. We yo Kevin Hart just did his stand up, and he was talking about um they just released last week, and he was saying during the height of social media he was on his shit. He started tweeting, you know, yeah, 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 fuck that. Da, 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 da. He said Universal called him. Hey, hold on, what you doing? Like, you know, we'll, we'll partner with you or something. But when you're dealing with these big brands and you start saying some shit, the phone gonna ring. You're not the owner like that. Now, in this, their case, they was calling to work with them, but yeah, your phone is going to ring. You think you need complete freedom to speak up on black matters? Mm. If you win, if you win your scales. You got him. No, you don't got, got, you don't got nothing. You but some of these niggas got, care more about the dollars than the black people. We got that nigga, though. We got them. Why don't y'all admit that? You don't, you don't, need, that. You don't, you don't need complete, complete freedom, freedom to speak up on black matters. No, Ice. Dog. You don't, bro. And it's okay to say it. Hey, you can just say it. Check it out. You don't. Thank you. But, go. God but, damn it. But, but no, hold up. Oh, if you're weigh, if you're weigh, if you're weighing your options and say, yo, what's the risk of me speaking up? This might fuck me. <laughs> These niggas is businesses and you're worried about their brands and their money. So if I'm weighing this option, it's the same shit I told y'all about when I was talking to the NFL homie who wanted to stand with Kaepernick. Hey, I got a lot of motherfuckers depending on me, and I can't weather the storm if niggas stop fucking with me. So I'm not gonna speak up on this issue. I'm gonna shut up and play ball. It's not the same. Okay. It's it's not, not. And I'm not going to let you keep trying to scapegoat around. I'm not scapegoating shit. That, the reason it's not the same is because. Football is a 52-man team sport. It's not even that. I'm listening. If the right nigga in football would have spoke up, I'm, go ahead. they would have said something. In hip-hop, Drake is in the top 10. Fuck hip-hop. Drake, Drake is, is a top, top 10 one. artist. Top, top, top one. Top no, one. In Drake, top one. I'm, Drake is a top Period. five artist in music across all genres. Mm -hmm. So his voice is different than a second string, third string wide receiver possibly. You can't really compare the two. And it's one Drake voice. is too big for them to kick out of music. I'm not yeah. saying nothing about kicking out of music. Ish. No, I'm just saying. So the dude in the NFL, if he crosses the line and stands with Kaepernick, he could potentially be we kicked out of the, the NFL. I'm just sitting here saying if you can piss off the wrong people mm -hmm. and they can learn you, unless you have that complete freedom that's where they cannot fuck with you. That's true. That's why Jay can say what he wants to say, and that's why I believe Drake cannot say what he Jay wants to say. Jay can't say what he wants to say. Jay got partners, and Jay... Um, Stands to lose a bunch of shit the same way Drake would. But Jay also has a hundred percent ownership of a lot of shit on high end. Like he has, he's 
on the business side of things a little bit higher. Drake has enough ownership to yeah, be I, able. I to okay, that well, to hey, be again, able to the nigga don't want to. He just don't want to. I think that it's the more realistic reality. Yeah, he might. He has like his it. reasons. Whatever his reason is, hey, that's not my fight. Kendrick, you got it. Cole, you got it. Yeah, we ain't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Y'all ain't got well, shit. Well, that's what we got. Em. Y'all ain't got shit. <laughs> that's why Ish with the pick. I don't care why Ish do. That ain't got shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's, your, oh, that's your new boy, though. Yeah, we are, that's nice my new nigga right so here. So then why are you getting so aggressive? I'm not. Like, you sitting it. That's why Ish did. Like has nothing to do with my argument. But I still was just telling you. Ish has nothing to do with my argument. But I never go get in his car and go home. So argument stays the same. Ish cannot go get in his car and go home while we work. I said my argument stays the same. That's all I'm saying. But I wasn't implying it would change. Well, then don't tell me. Oh, man, I can't even tell you about your new boy. No I don't more. care. I can see. He's right here. I see him. But you might not know why he went I to I don't bed. care why. It's my point. Man, this man, is America. Yeah. And that shit was trash. That about that bad man now? Big trash. Okay. I'm just glad to see people say it now. Because when that shit came out, the, the song winning an award. People, is, are, people are not saying that now. Yeah, they are. They, yeah, they are. Who's saying it? Person is saying that now. Yeah, people, it's, people, it's, it's you, people, the nigga who no. took 21 off the 21 Drake out. You have unique music opinions, but people are not saying people. People are saying that, that, that this song, is America was trash. Song is trash. Yes, I've seen people say it. Really? I'm sure yes. you've seen people say it. that's not the overwhelming opinion by the masses. No, it's not. I said people, Joe. I oh don't God! Care about ah, this fucking, fucking guy. Why do you think I? Ah, hold up! Hold up! Excuse me. Excuse me, stop screaming be, for a second. Let me ask you a question. The masses. Be oh, this guy. Let me ask you, hold up. Stop screaming. That screaming don't do nothing. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> no, why it, do it, it I alleviates care? pain for me. Why it, do I it care? It alleviates pain for me. Like it acts as therapy. Go take something. Why do why I care what the conditions? public opinion <laughs> is? On yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, because he do that. I want to hear. Talk you and try to confuse what? your thought. What you trying oh, to say? Shit. No, come on, let's do it. Like I said, why do I care what the public opinion is on something? I'm telling you, people have said that record is trash. Ice. They're saying it. My statement. I never speak for the people. My statement don't say you should care. My statement says you should be aware of what the public says about something. When I say you people, get to not give a fuck about whatever you want. But when we having a conversation about music and you say, I've seen people say it's trash. Well, yeah, I'm sure you've seen people say anything. I'm talking about the field. The field don't say that that is trash. All right, well, they'll let you know. Let me ask you a question. They'll let you know. Do you, do go, you, and listen to, go listen to the record. Do you feel the field? That's what I want do you, you to you do. Feel that the, All of y'all. Do you feel that the field is influenceable? The field well, plays yeah, follow the leader. Influenceable. That's my point. So when that shit came out and everybody said, oh, yo, this shit crazy. I remember Jamie Foxx was singing it on stage and all of that shit. Everybody, that song ain't hot. Jesus, you the beat is dope, though. Yeah, play it. You Please play it. it. Man. Again, y'all trying to move the goalposts I'm not moving to talking it. about anything. how hot the song is. And nothing, the video. About, I nothing about my it was argument the video. speaks about the song being hot. I'm message. not moving the goalposts at all. The I still say what I say. You ask me, how do I feel about Drake? Did you like the video? On, yeah, the video, yes. The, the message in the video, yes. You ask me, how did I feel about Drake not speaking on black issues? I don't know how many times y'all have tried to purchase a beat before, but if you just take the words off of this song and just listen to the beat, it's still...
That's hard. Not only is it hard, but I can't have this talk with Ice because Ice say shit like, I looked up the lyrics. This ain't even about America. Like, and I if, didn't say that. You, I just said well, I what looked, did you say I, when I, you said you looked up the I lyrics? I said I looked up the lyrics and this shit ain't even, ain't even that. Like, ain't even what? Speaking up black issues. See, this ain't that's, that. that's, but that was the, the, the debate of I, the him record did. and the lyrics and the and the lack of lyrics, the slow paced, re- repetitious video, everything about Stop this saying is speaking video, to dog. Stop, Stop saying video. It's sarcastic. It is Stop. about America. Yeah, it is Stop about America. Stop saying video. Stop saying video. Okay, this is why? why? Because we're not talking about the fucking video. I've been talking, talking about the video the entire time. If him said, from the beginning uh, of this, I've been talking uh, about the video. Uh, so don't move the goalposts now because you don't like the, the song. Goalposts. I'm not. For him to say this is the uh, over, what he called it, overrated and over awarded. It won record of the year and song of the year. That's not video. This is not the MTV Video Awards. It's the fucking Grammys. So for him to say record of the year and song of the year, I don't count the video. I'm taking the song. This is not a good song. Ice, I'm not responding to the over awarded portion. I'm talking about the overrated portion. Okay. And, and I'm talking about. Drake not speaking to social issues and shitting on the person that does. And y'all just want to keep putting the microscope on the person that did. Dogs. I, let me this tell you is what. About so, this cool, is about cool. social matters. I, again, I'm telling you why I don't give a fuck about that. You, you coming out saying, hey, this started as a Drake this. Now I'm Drake. Hey, fuck that. I don't care what that song was about. I'm going to shit on that. We know Drake to be the petty nigga. The fact that you, we don't have none of this if he don't come out and say, hey, that started out as a drink this. We don't even have this conversation. That's my point. So it's not about what the song was about. It's the fact that you jumped out the window and had to go and say, hey, my record was, was started off as a drink this. Yes, Drake is going to hear that. Drake is going to respond to that. And in him responding, he's going to shit on your record. Now, people want to take that to mean something else. Oh, you're shitting on the guy that's trying to make a song about social justice and you don't, or you don't speak on it. That, that's not what it was. It was whatever record that you're talking about that you was going to diss me on, I'm going to shit on. Well, do it with a record that's not uh, representative of and speaking of and, and highlighting the issues that black people are going through. And you do it with a different record. This, this a different record. How many, how, many, how many verses that song had? Copy that. Two, three. I don't, I don't recall. Because that was the whole first verse. What? I don't know what the verse okay. stopped in, yeah, the, that was the, first in, verse. in the hooks. So I don't know nothing about that song. He didn't I don't say know. nothing. He did. All right. What he I said? Know. You I understand? Got stra- I got a strap in there. I'm asking. I'm not trying to be a dick, neither. I'm being serious. If you listen to the words of the song, he didn't address one issue in that song. He said, "This is America." Mm-hmm. Cool. Wait, 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 Parks. Uh-huh. If we don't alone, that one sentence addresses a million things. No, you as the interpreter make it say whatever you she want it to say. Which is kind of. First of all, it's not really entirely true, but that is also dope too. Creative. It's creative. Mm-hmm. But he's also talking about what do you say? Oh, but I got a strap though. This is America. He's talking about people <laughs> like oh everything is all good because this is America and it's not. It's, it's, it's black humor, tongue in cheek. But that's your. So. It's not your. Inter- I don't think this song was released without the video. I this song the video dropped came with out the video. First, yes. The the video so when y'all. First. It's not open to interpretation. It was received the way he wanted it to be received, and the message hit. Why y'all keep trying to make it not be what it was at a time where everybody was dying? Hey, hey, Drake can say what he want. You right, Ice. Now, why y'all keep trying to make it seem like this wasn't that? I'm not trying to make it seem like anything, Joe. Again, I want you to be open-minded to somebody else's answer and somebody else's opinion. If a conservative white person heard that song and heard This Is America. Mm. Heard the song without the video, you saying? Yeah. Okay. They could take that song and apply it to whatever the fuck they wanted to apply it they to. Take, they take, uh, they could take it and put it They take a fucking, Bruce Springsteen song and make it into a fucking. Uh, uh, a mantra for fucking. Uh, Amer- uh, Amer- uh, yes. American. It's Dog, so that same exact song, somebody can now have their MAGA hat on and say, This is this America. America. Yeah. Shop in the, shop in the, whatever the fuck he says. And then that, that person would receive a cease and desist and, hey, don't ever play that song. The same again. way Bruce does with. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking <laughs> about the interpretation of the listener. Born in the USA. That's yes, the song, sorry. exactly. Right? But, yeah. what, but, but Bruce Born did. in the USA is about an army vet that goes overseas and then comes back and gets treated like shit. 
and they make that into and now that turns into the big American anthem for the fucking conservatives. They did. They made it into what? They make it like oh, like an American pride in the USA. Oh yeah, we're. Okay, like a, like a patriotic America. anthem type shit. Oh, okay. It's about, it's about and, someone that went to Vietnam and got fucked up over there and comes back and gets treated like shit and left and what to Bruce, fight for And what Bruce own. did? He shut that shit down mad times for people using it in political ads. Oh, for real? Yeah, hell yeah. Bruce, Br- Bruce Springsteen, salute. I like that. That's all I'm saying. Like, I I, I think that mm. um, everybody... In my opinion, should Drake? How old is Drake? Maybe forty. Thirty. No, he's like thirty-six. Oh, he's that young. Drake is thirty-six now. I think so. Yeah. You said thirty-three, thirty-four. Yeah, getting up there. Thirty-three, thirty-four. Now would lend to my I think opinion him and Kendrick that are 36. these 36. young people don't might not necessarily have that vigor yet. Well, I think that him being born over and well, him being born in Canada, not, his mom is white, right? It's probably slightly different. And his 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 his. That's why I asked that question to start. I'm not sure if it's different for Canadians. Their viewpoints on. But what about if he went through a lot as a kid, being biracial, which not he being probably as, did, not being accepted. Might have. You know, man, like, these niggas is playing it safe, man. No, I'm just saying. No, trying to tell you, a lot of niggas, niggas have traumatic. Safe. I, I You're wanna, more marketable when you're safe. We make and fun niggas of traumatic play safe. experience, especially this guy. But some niggas, man, they, they carry that shit from childhood to adulthood. They give you a whole speech. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nigga had to go underground. This is business. Man, I ain't gonna say it. It's my man. All right. Well, that's all I got for him. <laughs> hey, Flip, what happened with the uh, the leather, man? You said you wanted to go on a leather. You gotta- hey! Yeah, what's up, man? I thought hey, we was getting, getting, was getting so man. trash. Well, that was at the start of the last part. That was supposed to be in the main. That was a good one, but you ran from it for some you reason. Did. Yeah, he did. Don't worry about it. I don't know. Stop calling message. y'all out on y'all shit, I mean, yo. So why we can't wait to the next part to talk about it? We can talk about it now. But we can. Right. We can. You wanna run from it? Huh? I'm not running from it. A week and a half away, running. <laughs> yeah. Can't keep running away. <laughs> you changed. Can't keep running away. My value changed, nigga. This is America. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A lot of shit I heard. No, no. There Listen. you go. Shit got me running. The- <laughs> oh. Hey. Yeah. Now you're talking. Uh, what's up? Y'all don't know that that's even telling the story while he ain't saying no word. Got you. It, it's, you don't know that? No. No. Got you. Yo, I- All right, don't worry about it. What'd you think about King Vaughn, the clip uh, going on about him asking to be in PC because he's gay? Rest in peace, King Vaughn. Let's talk about that then. King Vaughn died, bro. Let's talk about that. Yeah, rest in peace. Let's talk about it. He did what? Huh? There's a clip going around of him asking to be in protective custody because he's gay. What do you think about that? Oh, man, um, I, I, um, <laughs> I, um, died to hide them. Shit, man. I, he wanted to go somewhere safe. That's it. No, I think he, it came out he wanted to go somewhere dangerous. Like, apparently it came out he was just saying that to get back to his hood. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what, yeah, because I'm sitting there trying to find a way to be. I thought he was just trying to get put in whatever uh, isolation or whatever it may be. I don't think anybody would think that King Vaughn is gay, even with him saying no, that. No, 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 not that part. Jail. I just thought it was... Oh, and I don't think anybody thinks that King Vaughn was pleading to get to PC. But it was... Rest it was, in peace, King Vaughn. It was wild. Just, even the shit he said to the other nigga in there, it was, it was wild to hear. It was him. wild hearing it. Yeah, it was wild to hear. But in jail... But I don't understand in, jail. In jail. There might be some other shit, yeah. so I don't know. He said, yeah, I might... Pause. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. What I was he saying to the other... I, I don't know, I don't... He, he, <laughs> No, let it go. Let the bus go. <laughs> nah, I'm cool, man. They caught me in some poor shit too, man. And some porn shit. What the fuck? Pores. Like they they just tagged y'all on Twitter and some poor shit I did like uh, three four years ago when I was talking about a story, and I did like a hand gesture. Pause. What, what, what hand gesture you did? I ain't doing it now. Nigga. <laughs> they, they tagged Joe and <laughs> they, they tagged Joe on Twitter and shit. <laughs> and ice. <laughs> yeah, don't tag me with that shit. I don't want to see. Pause, man. What's wrong with you, man? Speaking of pause worthy things, mm-hmm. uh, San Antonio hot dog stand 
L. Winciero or some shit introduces an 18 inch hot dog honoring uh, Victor Wimbignana. I want to ask all of y'all if y'all would eat the 18 inch hot dog. Don't measure. I'm just. I like <laughs> hot dogs. Yo, did you fucking measure the hot dog? I like hot dogs. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking see. Fucking freeze. I know, what four, are you about doing? that long. You add another six. I've had a full That's long. That's great. What are you I've doing? I've had a full long sub before. <laughs> Stop. It's a video. Eat the hot dog. Is gay and that's okay. Uh, Do they have an 18-inch bun? Yo! Oh, oh my shit. God! God. All right, fuck. <laughs> Newark boys, <laughs> we bike. Yo! Hey, baby, it's turkey. My brother, I see, is gay. No, and he's that's not. Okay. Uh, no, he's not. I don't eat hot dogs, dog. Oh, okay. Not even if it's Victor's. No. Yo. <laughs> hey, yo, I box. Okay, that was that was wild. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, off mic, you was uh, off mic, you was singing the hook to "This Is America." Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Catch you doing What's the What's the lyrics? I said he looked the lyrics up. What you mean? I'm asking you. Oh, if there's no words, just the cultural. And symbolic significance of those that style hum mm. to the song that he did. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. <laughs> How is that bullshit? Big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Answer Paul's question. That's bullshit, man. That's how. That's bullshit. Like, it, so y'all saying this is a good song? It has like. No, 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 no. Do not move the goalpost Why do you keep back to good song. <laughs> no, you reserve the right to hate the song. That's it. Stop that, trying to get back there. Parks asked you a direct question, question about again. the hums on the hook. And y'all said bullshit and then got, I'm not talking to Ishan, I'm talking to you because you said, oh, that don't make the song good. We're not talking about a good song. Well, answer his question then. We he, asked you about the lyrics. Asked, that's what I it did. Came from. And you I, went and moved the goalpost and start talking about hums and shit. That's lyrics. Hums is lyrics. All right. Hums I is lyrics. Music is more than just lyrics too, by the way. Of course, it's the marriage of all of it. Correct. And my I answered and you said yeah, bullshit. No Parks is saying I said your answer to that was bullshit because he, he said Parks what's is the saying lyrics? how okay <laughs> because his answer to that is bullshit because he said what are the lyrics his response was nothing about the lyrics the hums and the this 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 and the absence of like, like, no I said what are the he said what are the lyrics he said I looked up the lyrics he said no I'm asking you and he gave an answer about something else other than the lyrics thus me saying bullshit but the style of music question. is what's symbolic it's like an African style chant like. He just screamed until the vein almost bust in his face because he said, "I'm going to." You start talking about liking the song. Okay, we're talking Ish about. asked you about the lyrics, so get back to his point then. What are the lyrics? He hummed the hook. That's what you pointed out. Yes or no? Yes. He said, "Yeah, the hook." Okay, now what are the lyrics? The humming is lyrics in the hook, Ice. Why do you keep what? The humming oh, is lyrics okay. in the hook. Okay, so that is the lyrics. Is the humming as per the definition of lyric? Lyric is the word. Are words? A hum is not a lyric. Yeah, humming is a part yeah, of the yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there are no lyrics. The humming is the hook. And that was the significance of the humming as it pertained to the record. Do you still say that that's bullshit? Don't try to semantic me I'm out of what I'm saying. I'm nothing. Hey, I'm there's no you, lyrics. Answer... Hey, semantic man. There's no lyrics. No, but there are lyrics. Now, there are lyrics. Lyrics. what, what do man? you say <laughs> to the singing portion of the chorus? Do you think that that is bullshit? That's not what I said. Bullshit. So he's asking. I'm so asking the, you. A I never question. said that. You're asking but something. But it could I never be said. interpreted that you. Were. I don't interpret nothing. I choose. Well, my that's why I'm asking. I'm telling you. You won't I, answer. I am answering. So you don't think it's bullshit? Excuse I, me, Flip. He what won't, I said, still won't answer. No, no, no. What I said. So yes or no? It's because yes I never no said answer. that was bullshit. I said your answer it's, to it was bullshit. It's bullshit or not? Ice right now. Like, do you think it's bullshit? I never said it was bullshit. No. You don't put words in my mouth. But that don't say. Do you think it's bullshit? Not, I never said. Do you think today, right this second, right. that is bullshit? Answer, what, do I think what is bullshit? All right, I'm not doing this with yeah, y'all. No, no, because you want to Y'all, boy, they, I, these, these oh, niggas are semantic. Nigga. No, no ask not let's go. Because you want to semantic to death when we have an audience watching and Man, I want to progress it. That's what you do. It. My very direct question is the singing portion of the hook that's not lyrics. Okay. Do you think the symbolism as it pertains to this song and the message he was trying to convey is bullshit? 
I don't know the message he was trying to convey with the song one, but two, do I think the symbolism? I mean, do I think the humming and all that is bullshit and the hook? No, I don't. To answer your it's question, tough to get into this. Tough to thank you. That answers me. Why? But you know, no, because you went and made up a question <laughs> off of some shit I ain't say, nigga. I was reading, I was reading the, lyrics. <laughs> the lyrics. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the lyrics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the lyrics? Read the lyrics. Uh, verse one. Read it. Uh, we just want to right, play verse one. No, no, no I'm asking you, him to read. But you just read it. We just want the money. Money just for read. you. Uh, uh, I like it. Salute. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Look how I'm living now. Police be tripping now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Po yeah police be tripping. Yeah, Not for everybody. Police, police be don't be tripping. This is America. But police don't be tripping for Guns everybody. in my area. Oh, it's it's one guns is in his area. Not everybody's area. No, no, no. I got everybody carry. don't need the strap. Oh, listen to that. Talking about I somebody, gotta carry right? him. This is America. Guns oh, yeah, in my area. Yeah, yeah, I got the strap. I gotta I'm carry them. I'm, I'm done with them. I'm done with them. Yes. Guns in my area. I gotta carry. All these second, all these second amendment fake motherfuckers is gonna use that. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hey yo, bicentennial man. That's not a message. Yeah. Everybody got the strap. 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 Everybody Wait, wait, wait. Guns in my area. I got to carry him? He's I got the strap. I got to carry him. Look, he said, police be tripping now. Yeah, this is America. Guns in my area. I got the strap. They know what lyrics mean. I got to carry did, They dancing. Y'all understand yeah, sarcasm and yeah. shit, too? We dancing. They dancing right, right now. They did. They're doing their the best Gregory Irons. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie. These two niggas They're doing their best Gregory Irons. My niggas is legends, son. You hear that? They're doing their best Gregory Irons, boy. Not you. Not you. Not you, Library. That's my man, Library, right there. Library, not you. You're a lyric genius, nigga. You know what year these shit's come out. I don't like that shit since he got that publicist, man. Built the Parthenon. Slaves. Built America. What? How? Slaves. This is your song. Thank you. Slaves. Thank you, slaves. Thank you, slaves. This is crazy. Turn it off. Thank you. Slaves. You can't play that, man. Slaves. <laughs> this is your song. This is Thank you. Slaves. Slaves. What, what the that? fuck? Built America. Slaves. Say America. Built America. <laughs> I just want to know how you find that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah, that shit sound like the American pop band. <laughs> they, got white, they got white kids dancing. <laughs> No. Oh man Holy that is shit. Shit. That's what I'm gonna play Y'all wanna shit on This is America Come on let's play the real shit Let's play the real laughs Come on I, I think they tied in Oh shit What do you mean? <laughs> let shit go Joe Damn. We on a podcast I, can't, I know that y'all wanna let things go On that a, song, on a that... podcast But that's not how podcasts Okay what you mean? You know that song was Amped up politicized It's alright bro that, so in your, your opinion, you think our song should have won a Grammy for album for song of the year? Oh yeah, at that time. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot. It's a lot surrounding it though. Yeah, my answer is yeah. yeah. It's not just about the song. You answer the same question. Never. Like, it's Hold like, on, let me, get, let me get, answer the same question. Never. What other songs are nominated with it? I don't know. What song do you think should have won? I don't know the songs that were nominated, right. but I could go right. look. Right. It you. beat out I'm Kendrick and Scissors, All the Stars, Drake's. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Why, slow down. Why you won't slow down? Whoa. Why you won't slow down? Why you won't slow down? Go ahead. Go ahead. It beat out Kendrick and Scissors, what? All, all the, stars. the Stars. You know that song? Yes, I do. And Sing that's it my... for me. I don't know. I'm not going to sing on know. the mic. The Black Panther I don't know shit. what you The Black Panther shit. I know that song, Joe. I don't know that song. And you know I'm not a Kendrick nigga. That's my favorite Kendrick song. So conveniently now you're a Kendrick nigga. I'm not a Kendrick nigga. I like that Kendrick song. You think that should, song should have won over This is America? A thousand percent. I, you well, got well, it. What else song would be? Uh, I'm, I'm finished. I'm finished. All right, Great. you think that song should have won over uh, This is America? Fam, I don't even think This is America should have been nominated with these songs. I understand that, but do you think that yes. the, the yes. Kendrick in Scissors song, song in here, I'm going to say Can yes, you play sir. that song? Sure. Play All it. the stars show? Can you play it? Yes. I, please You know I'm not I Anyone Y'all don't Look rush into the office yeah, Please that's bro. It, that's Please it. Bro. These niggas moving in concert now that's Oh it. shit Glitch in the matrix yeah, yeah, They yeah. rush into hey, that Black you, Panther soundtrack Let me ask you a question, huh? you a question. <laughs> Look Look Hold on They got it through.
never, ever on any planet and any metric of time beating This Is America. And I like that song. I have a question for you. I want to hear the rest of the song. Yeah, what's the rest of the song? Yeah, yeah. Drake's God's Plan. Sean Mendez is oh, in, that's my, why you're tired. in right. my blood. Uh, Marin Morris, Zed and Grace, The Middle. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's Shadow. Brandy Carlisle's The Joke and LMA's Booed Up. Uh, nah, Booed Up, that, that one? If I'm picking Drake something. is the only one that is in competition. I don't think so. I think Boot Up was a legitimate choice Boot for up, yeah. song of the year. No, and that um, Boot Up, that, that, yeah. lady, that, that lady, that Lady Gaga and Bradley, that Cooper lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. How did she go? That that was was smash. That was smash. I forgot how to go. That so was sassy. That was a smash. That was a smash. Okay, I just said he was sassy. Yeah. <laughs> Why y'all not looking at the holes? <laughs> like the, 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 what, what, everything surrounding. None the of those record records sound as important as This Is America at the time. At the time, though, I was asking about Martin Luther King. Even all these years later, reading it. I still don't hear one that jumps out that says, oh, shit, that should have been the one. God's Buddha. play is the only one that, to me, that makes it an argument. I hear why Drake is tight, though. Because for him, he, he thought God's plan should have been an overwhelming favorite, too. Yeah. You think God's I plan? Think, I think y'all God's saying plan that's why Drake is tight. Yeah, I don't think God's tight. plan is that's why tight. Bigger than hey. um, all the stars <laughs> and that. Uh, Bradley God's Cooper plan was that Bradley huge. Cooper in the Gaga song. It was bad. Once again, God's plan, I think, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of Drake. God's plan, to, I think, to Drake should have been the message that God did was for Khaled. God's plan is his second most streamed song on Apple, at least anyway. I, so you, I can see you, why he would feel. Yeah, you, you know that you could tell at the time that the label spent a lot, like really was invested on that record. That vague ass message in the hook that should apply for all also says what they thought that record should do. Him giving away money in the video. A, lot of, things, a lot of things spoke to what they felt that record was supposed to do at the time. So I could see him being a little tight. I could see him being like Kendrick with Macklemore. Macklemore, mm -hmm. But that's obviously egregious. Like, everybody in the culture watched Macklemore get up there. He had to go in the post-interview and say, yo, dog, this is Kendrick's. Mm -hmm. So that's understandable. I don't think that sentiment exists for this, even if I submit to what y'all saying. Like, I don't think it's just an overwhelming amount of people to go back and say that. It's just Drake. And now the Drake fan is going to do this. Okay. Which is shit I mean, on him. And y'all know I'm not the biggest. Well, I am a, a big music fan of his. I'm a big music mom, fan of his. Who? Childish. Uh, childish. childish? Yeah. I like Childish. I like Childish can be no music. Yeah, Awaken my love. Um, I actually want to come here and give Brent Brent some props too. There's little clips of him at Broccoli Fest floating around, and he sounds better. Oh yeah, mm. he sounds better. Huh. Respect. Some nice. Heads. Niggas always want to diss me. Yeah, so I said respect. But never apply the shit that. Yeah, you clean some shit up. Sound a little more on key. Now, I could be totally wrong, and he could have been singing, there could have been the track playing, and mm -hmm. I didn't hear it with the crowd, but it sounded It just better. sounded better. It sounded yeah. better. Okay. Yeah, songs sound better if you sing on key. <laughs> they do. They do. They do. <laughs> Even the songs you wrote off key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even sometimes just something in the song. Being, sounds, off, being off key being could it, throw it off. Hell yeah. See, yeah. that's y'all that's musician ears. Because oh. like, yeah. I I mean, on key, off key. If it sound good, it sound good. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day. But sometimes when you're creating something and something isn't sitting right, mm -hmm. it's because it's off key. Mm. It might just be a little bit off key, and it's fucking with you subconsciously. And then when you get it right, you're like, oh shit, there it's go. just out of key. It clicked in. Yeah. Like, oh, there it is. It was okay. just flat. All right. Oops. You see, um, for his tour, Lil Baby went and hired uh, Tiana. 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 Yeah. Doing the whole. The whole shit. I think that's another great look for her on tour. Shout out to Tiana Taylor. Tours and shows, bro. She's making a killer. She is. This she is, is for the little baby she's... tour that's getting canceled? Yeah. Yeah. I hope she gets uh, a shot in a tour that does not get canceled. Well, this news came after I seen a lot of the cancellation news, mm. which... Depending on how you look at it, could be a play. She's starting to be the um. What, what's the chick that used to do the choreography for uh, Puff videos? You, um, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because she's still wrong with Puff. I forgot her name. Um, right Hispanic lady. I forgot her name. But the go-to. She's, she, she's, she's starting to. Yeah, she's starting to get that. 
little go to. Deserve it to sell. Yeah, it's dope. She's brilliant at what she does. Well, even bigger than that, I mean, she's director of the year. Like, Shorty wasn't directing. Yeah. Oh. Tiana won director of the year mm. at the BET Awards. She's doing more than the choreo. Yeah, that's what, like she's. I still don't know if that's enough to. It could be a play. It is a play, but I, you need more. We need more plays. I mean, it could be good. It, it'll be good for her because if you get a couple shots of the show, the the stage, the performance looking amazing, and it starts to bring some more attention to his shit, she goes up. That's true. She's going to go up with or without but him. But I think well, I was going to say, that's true. with or without him in this tour, this is a workload for her. This ain't, this ain't come in and teach the girlies how to dance and teach him how to command and control the stage. This is going to be a task. Yeah, this is an overhaul. For her. This is an overhaul. And she will be credited if, yeah. if it's fixed. Yeah, especially with the bad press about canceling shows going around. If somehow this turns around a little bit, that's mm-hmm. major for her. Yeah, I haven't seen Little Baby Little Baby perform enough for me to like speak to how he performs. But I know the people that sell out them arenas consistently and perform. It's a show. The town, it's a show. That's kind of what I was saying. Like it's certain acts are giving you a show as opposed to just I'm up. Has Little Baby done that? Not as a headliner. Outside of the Chris Brown shit where they were call, calling it co headlining, but we know what that was. Yeah. But I haven't seen him headline a tour. That's a big Arenas. step. That's a big it's step. A big it, step. It costs a lot of money to produce a show of that magnitude. And again, I keep going back to it. What you remember about these tours don't just necessarily be the slaps at all. It's the show. How does this all look? How does That's it feel? True. Travis Scott's last tour of Astro World, he had a fucking roller coaster going from one stage over the crowd to the other stage. There are very few people like, who it, can just ride their popularity to. Hey, I'm going to play some slaps. Y'all yeah. show up and fill this thing out, and that's going to be good. Yeah. No, it doesn't work for me. Like, even, I, just, I told y'all before, even the Drake show, everything I see from this show, I want. I don't care about the set list at this point. I just mm. want to see the show. Right. Because I'm seeing some amazing shit in these pictures and clips that's going around. I'm like, all right, I, I might need to go. He's, he, he, he's showing out. Yeah, he's, he's, he is. he's showing out. But he's, he showed out the last time with the fucking car and all that shit. Like, they, he keeps up in the ante every show. Every tour. Where do you think he's staying at in New York? Think he got his own shit? Some of these niggas. Somewhere I can't afford, niggas. (laughs) (laughs) They staying at the Baccarat? Nah, that's too cheap for him. All you got to do is follow the star tenders. (laughs) Joe, you ever stayed at the Baccarat before? Mm -hmm. You know about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get here. I don't know, some shit over there. There's a lot of secret hidden shit out here, man. I want to start a show where I start investigating these shits, man. <laughs> There's some shit going on, Freeze. Oh, and I'm going to start the show of uh, watching them arrest Flip as he tries to investigate these <laughs> things. Arrest? You're going the wrong one, motherfucker. Oh, no, no. I'm coming back, back out. If he do that, see, I'm think, filming him. Y'all think I'm going to be aggressive, but it's not. I don't think wanna, you're going to be aggressive. I just want to investigate. Be There's a lot I'm of just, shit going on, you're bro. Gonna be black. Are you going to be dressed like this? No. <laughs> How are you going to be dressed? A, That's gonna a, tell a soup. A soup. Okay, well, that's hey, cleans hey, level a little bit. Flip, to answer your question, though, the last time he was in New York, <laughs> which is think? when he did the Apollo shits, uh-huh. he had a $75,000 a night penthouse at the Mark Hotel. And they said it is the largest and most expensive hotel room in North America. There you go. So, Nigga, just, what is that, the Mark Hotel? See, <laughs> see? They may be right there. You don't even know. 75 a night. It's not even advertising. 10,000 square feet, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, four fireplaces, a steam room, dining room that fits up to 24, full kitchen, grand piano, and balcony. <laughs> okay. Nigga will always stay in something with a grand piano. <laughs> <laughs> love boat ass nigga, man. You like that stupid shit, nigga. You start to smile. He's fly. I love that nigga. I love him. You know how sad I would be if something happened to him? You said, wait, wait, Corey, you said what? Yeah, yeah, but shut up, nigga. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's, you use your, po- yeah, you use your points, nigga? Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> did you, you use your no points world. or you just... <laughs> did you use your points? No, you point, had some no. fly shit on the lawn. That's, that's why that Dominican Republic trick got you tight, that bum shit y'all was staying in with that bed. But you had some fly <laughs> shit. <laughs> you you <laughs> stayed in fly shit. Yo, let me tell you something. I walked in the city. Oh, you uh, on, When I was younger, man. Never, that yeah. will never happen again. Nigga, Webb brought me to the city. I'm talking about young adult. They have a lot of hidden shit in Manhattan. They had the shit where you, it's like a bum ass store. 
Nigga, you go inside. It's like a fucking club, some type of secret society, oh, yeah. ill shit with a chandelier. Oh, New York is, is king, king of the speakeasies. Yeah. But what the fuck is what are those called? Speakeasy. Speakeasy. Oh, I didn't that know. Is. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I know that time we had, left, we had left one of them. Um, you, it's a, Palooza it's a, shits, and we all went easies. uptown somewhere, and it was a pizza joint. Like niggas was going in there buying pizza. Oh, the back of the pizza joint. Yeah, but to the right, you open the door and you go down this hallway. It's a whole fucking club back there, but you wouldn't even see it from the front. It was. But bro, why they do that? Like what? Like that shit was crazy. I, they get, they, they get the permit to do the shit like that. It was a pizza place on the east side. The back door was a club. It's not a pizza place. But what else? Michael Paul, anytime you get with him, he's going to take you to a speakeasy. He's mm-hmm. going to take you in some shit that look like it's a bodega. And he's going to say, what's up to a nigga? They're going to open a secret door. You're going to go downstairs. a whole nother vibe. Mm-hmm. Like New York. Yo, I follow Instagram crazy. pages. With it. He had the top 10 speakeasies in New York. Like New the York speakeasy. is get the known fuck out for of the speakeasy. Yeah. Yo, send me that page, yo. <laughs> I sent you. Yo, Drake. No, nah, he going in there to do a skit. Open the fucking door. No, he is not. I'm from Queens. No, he is not. I'm not. They'll fuck no, you up. No, he is not. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you, they nigga. I'm not. do that in there. In the speakeasy? No. One of them <laughs> ain't going to speak easy. See, why you always got, <laughs> not, see, that's they racist. Go, why, yo, got, why would you even say that, that's nigga? That's not racist. I said, that, speak easy. Now no, you're gonna, being racist. No, they are going to. Ass Yo, out. a lot of niggas be owning them shit. You be letting and us they know, nigga. Stop, Y'all be racist. <laughs> nah, my boy said it. Nigga, speak easy. They say this shit's so casual. Yeah, well, they don't even know. I said because they don't speak easy. Why I'm the hurt. fuck would I say that? I got a headache. Don't repeat it, nigga. <laughs> Word. Wait, why did it just assume that they? Oh, <laughs> nah, they be on some of that sneaky shit. Yo, yo, the triads, yo, the, yo, don't oh, sleep no. with, no, don't sleep, no, no, don't sleep with the community. They own a lot of business in Manhattan, bro. They own a lot of, and we not, we not talking about the ones in, we're talking about the, the business savvy ones. We talking about the the gang members too. They got some gangs out there. Yo, here goes story that don't have nothing to do with. Half what got something to do with y'all. I got, I got Google Speakeasy. I'm in bed last. I'm looking at one now. This shit look all right. Speakeasy is the vibe. No, this Super one here, vibe. this particular one, it's a one of a kind yeah, hybrid that, bar. Well, don't say it. Right. I ain't saying the name. I've been ordering it. You can't location. blow it up? If Where you find that? a good one, you, the, the, the culture in Speakeasy yeah. is to not keep it low. Facts. It's to not do that. Let's just say a one of a kind hybrid bar and sex shop. Yo, look at the outside of this bullshit. It's a shoe store. Nigga. You got to ring a bell over here and you got to know the password. That's fire. Speakeasy is a vibe. So Ooh, last night There's a new show on HBO Called Full Circle That I'm started There's only two episodes out So Me and my girl Was watching this shit She says Yo I'm hungry And I said Yo you know what Honestly I just feel like Eating ghetto Chinese food tonight That's that shit So she says You know what I'm down Clap for that mm-hmm. So we pull up to Uber Eats And now there's like 30 different Chinese spots mm-hmm. So I say to her Be careful because the Chinese food I'm looking for, I want the ghetto Chinese food. Mm-hmm. So all of them, some of them put the pictures of the food on a plate. So now I'm investigating to see the to-go plate mm-hmm. and what's what. So I pick one. Bong. This is how I knew it was the right one. I was trying to find the, the combination. Price. The price. I want General Souls and Shrimp Fried Rice combination. Mm-hmm. Scroll to the categories. I should say combination. Not combination. <laughs> it said combination with two M's. Here we go. That's it. Yeah. I said, babe, I think this is this the is one. This is it. She, was, she said, I think that's the one, too. Yo. She said, oh, she took he it. He gonna stop us. <laughs> no, I'm... I, he he what I said and what you said is the same. <laughs> no. Holy shit, he's wait, wait, crazy. Wait, wait, wait. He is a no, psycho. Wait, 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 you wait, wait, say wait. it's much worse, yo. Combination. No, no, no it's not. Got, they do got combinations. They do got the bullshit. What I'm saying what is saying not much worse fact, than what you said. Well, he's saying not bad. Don't be the There's Chinese nothing store. wrong with what I'm Don't saying. Don't be the Chinese store with the old ass squares and the old ass yeah, menus on the top. The black and yeah, shit. You didn't hear what he said. Combination. Combination. They spelled it wrong. Yeah, they, they spelled do, they, they it like that. that. But that's how you know there's some, get, there's some you can uh, Google ghetto that shit. It's spelled wrong. When the menu is spelled wrong, I'm sorry. Then you in the up. right place. Correct. So that's wait, she started about. looking further on the menu and she said, oh shit, they got mystics. Oh, said, they got mystics. The mystics? Stra- <laughs> strawberry, uh, uh, strawberry kiwi? Woo! No. Did y'all no, order mystics? No, so no. we ordered a mystic. Then she said, babe. Wait, wait, time out. I they, need to know, did it come in a glass or plastic? Glass. 
Woo! Yeah. The glass missed it. They got the vintage joint. And then she like, said, "Follow Drake that shit." I don't wait. know, bro. <laughs> but wait, and then she said, "Babe, they spelled Mystic wrong too." I said, "Order right now." <laughs> So then I laugh. I wanted to talk to y'all about it because in my head, I'm like, yo, it's funny how spelling shit fucked up could like attract business. Word. Niggas, when we look at it, I, I, I would have signed right up. You spelling shit wrong? I'm in. How do you, how do you, just, how do you just check Yo, we ordered $100. Oh, that's the, we ordered like $80 worth of shit. It was 90 meals. Oh, yeah. 90 meals, but it's $80. It's good eating right here. And that shit was it's good. It's good eating right here. How do you eat your chicken wings, Freeze? Chopped up well done? No, just, no you ain't got to chop them up. Yeah, you chopped up. What do you mean chopped up? Like, they were they separated? Were they separated? Yeah, they chopped uh, them up. Yeah. Y'all don't eat it? Y'all eat it whole? Whole. Oh, okay. I want three piece. I mean, I'm three, breaking three. myself, but you nah, they ain't got I get, I get my, my shit chopped up well. I want the done. extra little leg thingy, the little yeah, thing yeah, that you little, can't eat. The, 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 you you the, eat the, the tip? Little, no. Niggas eat that. I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh. I'm niggas. like that shit. You eat them? I'm niggas. Oh, you eat the tip? Yo, that's your friend, man. I'm not asking about the chicken, see? Y'all called it that. I don't even know what that is still. The tip of the, the chicken. Wing, you know, the chicken wing got three parts. I don't know about parts. no tip. The wing. Y'all. <laughs> you y'all got the flat. Did I don't you know, T.I. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know. get your wings chopped up? <laughs> no, I'm a real man. Why does that make you? Because you can break Man, the wing pretty easy. I can with your break hands. them myself. Don't chop them. Yeah, that's not. I didn't even know they do that. Yeah, niggas what? do that. They do that. I've never Fry heard. Fry hard, chopped. Yeah, I know. Like a little girls ask for it like that. Fry hard, chop. Let me get four chicken wings chopped up. Well done, please. I never say well, I say fry hard. But why you can't just break it? Because you got little hands. Ignorant. Yeah. Fry hard. Fry hard. Yeah, you know, know niggas. Well done. niggas. Well done. And I bet you weren't no seats in there either. Well, you ain't go, but I, I didn't go. Yeah, bulletproof no that glass. That was slamming. What you ask? See, that's how I know the spot when I'm right there. But when I get seat, general toast, sit in here and eat. Chicken, nah, I you get, can sit there, but it's usually they're fa- like the little kids from the family. They sit there being playing games, eating the chicken with the whole head on it, fish with the head on it. Wait, what? You don't eat, eat the, the fish, fish with, with the head, head on it. You, never, you, ever, you ever notice what they eat is never they what they serve? They don't eat the same shit. No, they don't eat what we eat. They, they don't. don't. Yeah. Never. They eat some they, ill they, shit, they like they some soup shit. They know they serve us with greens. No, they know. No, they know they serve us some bullshit and they not going to eat it. Ill. Oh, yeah, they eat ill, but that's what it is. They don't eat the fish with the head on it. What the fuck are you playing, nigga? Stop. No. You got to stop that shit from the I'm back with the slabs. You got another one, dog? Take a wee wee on the fish. But wait till it get hot. She gonna be like, damn, shit, my God. Put that thing up before you ram it in my stomach. Shut your ass up and take this wee wee like a woman. I got a small dick. Yeah. Wait till it get hot. She gonna be like, damn, shit, my God. Put that thing up. Yo, send me that. <laughs> oh, they taking niggas. AI. Oh, I see now. No, that's Supreme Patty. Oh, that's Supreme Patty. Small, small wee wee. No, but he's. That's what's his name? Funny Mike. I don't know Funny Mike. Funny Mike is that guy. Supreme Patty's a white boy, a white guy. Hmm. Funny Mike is a black guy. That's Funny Mike in the video. So why was Funny? Is he, is he dissing Funny Mike? Boss, what do women really want? I don't care what they want. I only care what they respond to. See, my focus is a little bit different from your other guests. There's what women say they want, there's what women think they want, and then there's what they actually respond to. I'm not an academic, I'm not a theoretician. I'm interested in what works on the street when it's time to date and mate. And what women actually (laughs) respond to is not what they say they want. So what do they respond to? They really respond to a guy who's a challenge, a guy who's a question mark, a guy who keeps them guessing. You see, in the beginning, the less attractive you are physically, the more you have to rely on your attitude. And that's what I wrote my book for. I wrote my book for the average looking, even ugly guy who goes out there in the real world and tries to be a nice guy, gets his head kicked in. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm sitting over here reading about these speakers. Why are you I'm going on women? tour. Why are me you too. chasing sick? No, shut up, nigga. These shit's a fire. This is my last clip I have. This is the one I was looking to play. This might be one of the most, and then I want to ask y'all about running backs. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, <coughs> this is a stat about Tony Gwynn. The hitter. Oh. This might be, Tony one, of the, was the this might be one of the most phenomenal stats that I've ever heard. I've seen it. Good. What did you do against Tony Gwynn in your career? Not good. <laughs> 444 he hit over his career. I still think the greatest stat in the history of sports, Maddox, Glavin, Mar- Pedro Martinez, and me. I want to say faced him over 330 times, okay? We struck out over 12,000 batters combined. 
We struck him out three times. <laughs> all of Pedro, you combined? All of us combined. Pedro and Greg Maddox, zero. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Got a small dick. Joe. Fam. Joe, you all right, son? Like, Ocho side, like, you all right? That was Smoltz. Yeah, no? Wow. I seen that. Smoltz was him, too. Mm-hmm. And that Maddox. Braves, that Braves squad was crazy. Yeah, yes, yeah. it was. Goodness gracious, they was, was cheating. That's a fucking year. They was cheating. Glavin, Smoltz, Maddox, woo. Yeah. Bro, and threw in um, Pedro. Yeah. And only struck him out three times. That's not nice. When you him, you him. They talking about baseball. Yeah. Yeah, that was just. How's the Mets doing? Uh, not great. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Oh, horrible. Horrible, especially considering horrible. how much and they, they, spent have the, the they have the highest payroll of all time. Horrible, horrible. That manager, I'm surprised they haven't fired him yet. Horrible. They should be. I didn't, haven't checked in a week. They were like 12 games under. <laughs> who, did, who got the Japanese guy that was real good? That's Emma Destrix. He's Emma. still uh, he's still, he's still there. is. Yeah. On, uh, Angels, right? Angels, LA. yeah. Uh, he's, but he's still in L.A. or they, they got him? No, he's still there. No, he, that's he, the he, team that got him and he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. This oh. is his last year. Yeah. Is he real good like they say? Yes. Yes, they're not lying about it. Yeah. <laughs> they're not lying about it. I've heard athletes say that hitting a baseball is the, one of the hardest, if not the hardest thing to do in sports. Right. right. It they looked like it. It's yeah. shit coming at you 100 miles per hour. That's why if you shit. only, if like, only successful 30%, you make the Hall of Fame. Right. <laughs> he, he hitting that ball like that and then striking out your best hitter. Like that, that guy, that same guy. Yeah, he a pitcher yeah. and a best. He's a pitcher. Oh, you know about that too? Power hitter. Yeah, second yeah. best hitter. Bro, but think, think about that. How far away is the pitcher's mound from? Was it ninety? Right, ninety feet. Ninety feet. Yeah. Ninety feet away. Something coming at you hundred miles per hour. You damn near got to swing the second he, his hand is up here. You Even the batting cage just be hard. Like, That'd be some no. bullshit. <laughs> Man, bro, your hand-eye coordination got to just be different. This is different. Like the, the second, and then they make us see if his fingers be split. They say if his fingers be together, all of that shit. Mm -hmm. They see how he released the ball, mm -hmm. all of that shit before they swing. That's some real it's a computation. And then you gotta ha actually have the muscle fiber to fucking swing that shit quick enough True. and True. powerful enough to do something with it. Listen, True. Mariano Rivera went out there as the greatest closer in history with one pitch. You knew it was coming, and you can't stop. Nothing it. you can do about it. Mm -hmm. I can't do no other pitch. I'm old. I can't even throw fastball no more. But this one cutter, <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Dumb pitches just is funny though. What? Oh. Wait, wait. What's the story? Dude, Mariano man. Rivera is the greatest closer in baseball, but he was the Yankees closer till about what 2011. He don't tell him what a closer is though. No, he closed the game out. Yeah, he yeah I, got, I got that part. Him, yeah. yeah, and it was like in pot when he came in the game, the game was over, and he only had one pitch, which was. A cutter, which speaks to how the ball is going to spin when it goes. It goes and then it just cuts down. Got it, got it. No, a cutter. I think a cutter is different from a slider. I never heard of a cutter. But so he had yeah, one pitch left. You mean that was the pitch. It was a cutter. But he could throw it in or out. He could throw it anywhere. It's, it, it says the cutter is it's somewhere between a slider and a four-seam fastball. And it's usually thrown faster than the slider, but more move, with, with more movement than a typical fastball. Can move that shit what? Left yeah. Fam. So you know the pitch is coming, and still nothing you can do with it. This shit moving. Oh, so the person, he got them out. Oh, yeah. They oh, was yeah, out yeah, of yeah. here. No, no, they was out of here. They used to call him Mr. Mr. Oh, he was the best. Mr. Yeah. Something. He was the best ever. Um, running backs. Running backs. Running backs. They got to go on strike, yo. <laughs> they got to they gotta go on strike like the Writers Guild. Why, what's going on with them? They can't get a bag for shit. They're treated as disposable. Their franchise tag has gone down over the past 10 years, as opposed to everyone else's going way up. Because they're not getting paid. They're right. not getting paid. Mm -hmm. They're not getting long-term deals. Well, it's fucked up. Position at all. Yeah. Yeah, they, they are devaluing the position. So it's like people at the position that are the, the greatest are not being paid. They usually what? get a three or four year deal when they're drafted, depending on where they're drafted. After that four years, the team can franchise them, which means they give them a one year deal at the max of the um, in the top five average of highest paid players. So it's a good contract theoretically, but it's one year. And then after that year, they usually let them walk. And if the top five ain't paid, well, that's true. And then the, it ain't. Yeah, there's no top five to even worry about. Yeah. What's the most a running back can make? I mean, they can, get, they can make whatever they want, but the most. 
someone gets paid right now, I think it's $16 million. $16 million. Yeah. McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. As opposed to a quarterback, which is obviously the most valuable, is more like 50 I got it. Or a wide receiver, which would be a closer count. So do you think they could come together and, and cause change? Do you think that would work? No. Because someone else will come in and run the ball. And this conversation is being had right now because Saquon Barkley, the Giants running back, who was drafted number two overall? Yes. The second after Baker Mayfield, right? Yeah. Yeah. Drafted number two overall. He's been injured for most of his career, so he hasn't played as much. But last year, he really kicked up and was responsible for, like, a crazy number of percentage of the offense. So that was his contract year. So he's looking to be paid now. They franchise tagged him, which would put him at what? 16, 10, 10, 50, 10 million. 10 one. million. Yes. 10 one, I think it is. $10 million. He's looking to make something like 20 to $22 million, and that's where the crossroads is. And, me, and meanwhile, they signed – he's not the only one, but we'll get to that in a second. Meanwhile, they signed their quarterback, who by all measure has been very subpar, mm-hmm. to a $45 million contract long term that puts him in the top probably – he might be a top 10 paid quarterback in the league right now. Yeah. And the argument, rightfully so, that Saquon has is he was responsible for all the offense for the most part. And the quarterback was mediocre. The quarterback is a bum and y'all paid him. Yeah. Paid him crazy, too. He didn't just get like an ideal. He got paid very well. Quarterback was a healthy So this is not just a Saquon Barkley thing. Josh Jacobs, I think, led the NFL in rush yards last year, right? Yes, Yes, he did. And he also got franchise tagged. Yep. Uh, Mm -hmm. Y'all are going through it, right? Tony Uh, Pollard. 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 Austin Eckler is going through a similar thing in in, um, Austin Eckler in L.A. Chargers. Yeah, all the good running backs are going through. Dalvin Cook, who's had 1,000 yards the past four seasons, is without a team right now. Yep. Mm. So running backs are just treated a certain way. Tennessee was trying to move Henry all year, all off season. I don't think they successfully found any bidders, but he was he was for sale, for lack of a better term. Now, what do y'all think about the treatment? It's terrible. It's I terrible. Mean, I think they need to adjust the way the. Um, how how would you run your football team? Would you do something different? Nope. No, unfortunately, but I think okay. that they need to they need to add some sort of protection in drafting or something like the first deal should be longer or more lucrative or something for running backs at least within a, a certain draft status first two or three rounds there should be a guaranteed sixth year or something and maybe a higher minimum or something because what happens is you can just always draft a guy and get the old guy out of here and you'll get similar production so running back is the ones that run the ball correct so who- see that I argue against that but that is what the football people that's football people thinking mm-hmm that I could draft a guy and get similar production. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, statistically, it's kind of held up. And would it I'm be sure. A, I'm going to my eyes. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's true mm-hmm. with stats. And would it be in a passers league? The, the importance of the running back has kind of diminished somewhat anyway. To a degree. Like, they're important. But now I could just go do running back by committee. Right. Uh, the, Which is what most teams. Who are say. the last few Super Bowl winners not named uh, Chiefs, Bucks, Rams, Rams? All the, Rams paid Gurley, but then they regretted it. He didn't. He didn't play. He didn't, Super Bowl. Yeah, that wasn't. That wasn't no, regretted. I'm just saying. Yeah, but, but it oh, still yeah. adds they to why him. the running back fight yes. is like yeah. this. They paid True. him the year before they won the Super Bowl, or the year two years Couple before years that, mm-hmm. and he got all of that money, and then it didn't and materialize. That, well, yeah, he fucked up his knee. Yeah. Never Zeke. Played again. <laughs> Zeke. Even before that, there's a few DeMarco more. Demarco Murray, Demarco Murray, uh-huh. Le'Veon Bell, it. huh? Le'Veon Bell, yes, the Jets, which is why the Jets gave I, him some money. Yep. And I was adamant. None of the like, running backs that got big deals have helped the case to change like change correct. this going forward. But to me, it's kind of borderline. It's it's a really the problem is all of the running backs for the most part are black, right? So we'll pay the quarterbacks now that quarterbacks are starting to be black. But traditionally, quarterbacks were white, and they always were the forefront of the team. But then you have the black people carrying the load of the team, taking all the hits, moving, you know what I mean? Getting all the goal line touchdowns and shit. We putting our bodies on the line for your franchise and for y'all glory, and now y'all don't want to pay us. I don't like that line from like running that. backs because Christian McCaffrey's number you, one. If you play football, then you put your body on the line. True. I don't think they had that. And the highest position. paid is white. I know. He's the only. He's an outlier. I'm just saying. But he's him. He's, he's an outlier. Him. He's really him. He's he's a nobody's monster. looking at whether he's white or black. Yeah, he could be purple. He's an outlier. Yeah. He's an outlier. You know what I mean? Like him. Uh, what's that. my man named the receiver from the Raiders? Receiver from the Raiders. Red I mean, Fox? not Raiders. Um, Rams. 
Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Like those are outliers in in, in sports. For, for the most part, all of the major offensive stars, Adam Thielen, but most of them be black. Mm-hmm. True. And so we out here busting our asses almost like mules, and y'all don't want to reward us with the, the financial shit. What? Well, so from you, you, you're a business minded person. Mm-hmm. You're probably one of the most business minded people I know. Would you pay a running back? Oh, I'm only talking about a running back. Um, the, let me say what I heard about Jerry Jones, and then I'll say that I agree with him. A lot of people say he'll pay you based on what your production was. Like, if you bust your ass for the team, Jerry Jones, Mar- Marion Barber, mm-hmm. we paid him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that if somebody has come to work and they put, and they bust their ass and you know already they on a rookie deal that may not be the most money, mm-hmm. I think that you need to reward that person for their productivity. So I think that even if you give them a 50-year deal, but you give them a $20 million guarantee, some shit like that, like when they retire, even if they get hurt, they got $20 million to fall back on for them and their family. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't try to stiff them with no guarantees and shit like that. I just think that's bad business. Now, two things. One, you're setting a precedent when you do that. You okay. know that, right? Mm-hmm. So now, once you sign that deal with this high-ass guarantee, you're the only one that did it, that affects. It's kind of like what Joe said. When somebody go take a market. bad podcast deal or something, it, it fucks the market up. So mm-hmm. now the market is fucked up. So now you're doing this because you're rewarding the loyalty or the fact that you bust your ass, mm-hmm. but it's not a smart business move. True. And you just went and fucked up the market. Potentially smart business move. Actually, I maybe, if maybe the solution not. would be to make rookie running back deals like a one-year deal. So that way, you're, you're free to go after a year. If you turn up, I'm a free agent now. If you want to keep me, pay Marks, me. you sound like a lunatic. Well, but, but then that's not, would, that's anti-business. They, yeah, they, they would never not allow that. We're never allowed that. It's not going to do that. They lock you in for four years. You're a purpose. rookie. We don't even know how you about to produce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not locking you in for one year, and then you go kick up, and we got to be back at the table again. Mm-hmm. And give you twenty, thirty, forty million dollars. And what? I mean, I don't know that they're looking to solve whatever's going on. Oh, I don't I think it. I don't, think, I don't see why they would. No, I doubt it. We looking won't. at it from what? What? I'm a, I won't say ethical, but we looking at it from like a a moral standpoint. Mm-hmm. Damn near. I'm, that's why I'm only asking business. I'm not looking at it like a more moral nothing. I would be home. If you were Saquon if you were Barkley. Saquon Barkley. Yeah. If I'm Saquon Barkley, this hey, we've been playing back and forth for a few months. My plan don't my the game I want to play don't really start until September. That's when you gonna change your tune. Same thing with the Cowboys. Maybe Zeke, not, right? Maybe not. Oh shit, yeah. No, yeah, Giants. I'm I'm betting on that if I'm Saquon Barkley. Absolutely. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You're rolling out Danny Dimes and whoever week one and y'all just made the playoffs. Last year, you think y'all going to do that again without me? Y'all playing with me? I'm sitting home. Yeah. I'm sitting home. What's the... Um, uh, and you can't charge me for it because I never signed? Right. I didn't right. sign the tender. Mm-hmm. That's big. It is. I get to sit home pro bono? I'm... Fuck them niggas. If I'm Saquon Barkley, but I do believe he's creme de la creme. He's one of them for me. If he like I said, I, 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 I keep going back to when, when Le'Veon Bell did the same shit to the Steelers. All right. Sit home. The whole season, you got it. You did that. You went and got your deal elsewhere. You got exactly what you wanted. And I've seen people, because Le'Veon Bell just put an apology out to the Steelers saying, you know, I apologize for all of that shit. You should have. He was wrong. But you go get your deal, and now you don't perform. Now you you, you already out of New York. Now you over here. Now like, I look it almost looks at the organization that you tried to get the money from originally, like, yeah, you proved our point. That was a bad uh, yeah. situation for him because Adam Gase didn't like running backs when he got to. Uh, I was just, I, I, I was just about to say, dog, that's, that's not a fair. Good, and they had a real good O line. Who? The, y'all, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. No, yeah. but that's, that's what's Pittsburgh more was good. No, but, but that's saying, what the different For me, that's what's different about Saquon. Saquon that been wasn't behind shit, a bad O line. didn't have no weapons, career. and they couldn't block. So he just wanted his money. And their coach didn't. He was a Dolphins coach before that. We didn't run the ball with him. He didn't run the Like, dog, so that's not fair because that particular precedent was set was like, see? Told y'all. Uh-huh. You got what I'm saying? And so I don't think that was fair. I just look at the flip side of that. Todd Gurley went and got all that money from... Uh, He's a better example because he got the money and then got he hurt. his knee out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens. It's like, dog, this... Unfortunately, this position 
it is one of the more strict. I mean, we know every da- position. Dangerous position. But no, that one dangerous. in particular is one of the more dangerous positions. So what you're telling these people, again, it's a, it's a moral thing and a business That's thing why. at the same time. Mm-hmm. I think that you have to think about humanity in the business. I just think that the, the NFL generates so much revenue that you 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 think being humanistic don't cost y'all what it could. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I think that when somebody's out here, again... You you have the potentially most dangerous position in sports, dog. Pay him if he produced for you. Hey yo, um, real quick, <clears throat> sure. what's the outside linebacker? Um, they play defense, defense. kind of yes. in the middle. The defensive line is the people right in the front. Yeah, they get the wrong. The people the right second, behind second them, level of the defense. second level are second called linebackers. Second three defense. Okay, yeah. no, cause I met a guy. Zaire here. is a linebacker. He yes, think he's I, an inside linebacker. Oh, I met a guy years ago. They get paid good. Uh, not Depending anymore, not, are, as much, not, really. not as much. I met a guy years ago. I just looked him up again. Uh, Junior Gillette. I don't know if y'all heard of him. Yeah, but that's familiar. I met him years ago, and I went online, and I saw that he was suing the uh, NFL, like I think last year, 2022, mm-hmm. for racial discrimination, $300 million, trying to sue him. I don't know. Huh. But I, I be wondering, like, from the outside looking in, because I know he was outside, he was running around with artists like Corey Finesse, and I remember him paying me to do skits and stuff and all that. And I wonder if the NFL sees that that type of behavior, who you associate with and who are you around, if they give you, because they say he's accusing them of blackballing him. He said racial discrimination and stuff like that. So while y'all was talking about it, I was looking at it and reading his complaint, but I remember seeing him outside. I don't know know about that. I mean, I'm sure that I'm not, I know there's racial discrimination in the NFL. I don't know the details of his case, but I don't know about them looking at who you run with outside. They don't look at that, right? I don't know. It depends. I guess it depends on how bad the people are that you're running with outside. I don't think that you were going to get someone blackballed from the NFL. No, 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 not me. <laughs> I'm just saying, but, but do basketball, do the NBA look at who you run with? Because I heard like the NBA, they you know, do. Um, what's the they fucking do. coach name? That, that co- wait, wait, the coach, I interviewed him. Uh, the coach that, coach at Cardozo. Uh, fuck. Um, to answer your question, they do. Mm-hmm. He said that the NFL called him. He he said he he coached Skip, and he said that the NFL called like private investigators. That, not the NFL, the NBA. Sorry. Mm. He said the NBA called him and sent private investigators. Like when they're interested in you, they they want the whole details in oh, your yeah. life. So I want to know if the for NFL sure. does the same oh, thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Before they draft. Nicolario, Nicolario. But I think if you're him, if you're one of the ones, they're not going to really. They'll overlook it. Yeah, it's, because then you're profitable. Yeah. But the second that you outlive your usefulness and you're mm-hmm. just mediocre, you got to go. But then they would have been careful with Aaron Hernandez, right? Um, In college, they was tough, yeah. They was tough in college. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And their whole team was troubled. Yeah, Florida was... The whole team was troubled, but... um. I don't know, yo. I, I just think it's a, a, it's a it's a it's a factory. Okay, that's all. It said, "I want to see some of these guys play football this year. Some of the best running backs in football. And granted, there will be young guys that are probably nice too. But I want to see Cook. I want to see Jacobs. I want to see Saquon. And I want to see all these guys. Eckler. If the Giants sign Dalvin Cook, is it a slap in the face to Saquon Barkley? Uh, no, 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 because I don't think Dalvin Cook is Saquon Barkley. He's enough of it for it to be a slap in the face. That don't scream you bringing in an ancillary part. That scream like you bringing in somebody that's used to being him. Yeah. I think it is a slap in the face, but that's enough. Uh, hmm. I'm cool. I don't have any more. I guess it would depend on how much he, he's trying to get paid too a little bit. <sighs> Dalvin Cook will gladly come to work for ten million dollars. Yes, a year. Yes. I think so. he was making eleven. At, He's making yeah, uh, in 12, the, in twelve. Maybe Minnesota. get him. Maybe could get him off that ACL for eight million. Mm. It's a big difference it's from 20. twenty million. Mm. Out, you might could deal with the drop off. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that to Saquon, homegrown talent that we really love and fuck with. Mm. Whatever. Listen. Powerball is at a billion dollars. Okay. I encourage each of I you. I don't play like four hundred in the last couple of weeks. That's why I think it's a scam. But it is. So I can't say too much. I know somebody that fucking got money from this shit. So I encourage all of you <laughs> to yeah, leave here. And my, my girl's sister. Play it. No, I'm no. playing. 
I saw that shit on the billboard on the way up here. I was on the phone with my girl. I said, wait, how much? No, no, no. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and give this The Powerball at the bill, the um, the Mega is not far behind it. Or really? I think the Mega is at a bill and the Powerball. It's the Powerball. Well, Powerball is at a billion. And yeah. the Mega. So the other day, the Powerball was at 750 and the Mega was at 600. Mm. So if didn't anybody hit the Mega, then the Mega is right there at like seven, 800 million. Well, check. Don't give out false hope. Did somebody <laughs> hit, hit the I don't know. Game? I don't know. Well, yeah, you might want but to. But I'm definitely. Um, Powerball, for fact, is at peg, a billion. Um, Mega player. Billion is at 640 right now. Not a bad consolation. Yeah, shit. Yeah, God. I'll take the plan B. <laughs> and I ain't even pregnant. <laughs> Give me that motherfucking <laughs> money. You crazy nigga. You've been on a roll with the rhymes today. <laughs> yeah, you stupid, yo. What's your earlier bar? Stop. What you, what you said? He didn't say He said nothing. I don't All right, I'm going to play all. Powerball, I'm cool. Yeah, hey, y'all addressed that. Y'all yeah, addressed that. Right addressed there, it. Man. Addressed. Addressed. <laughs> addressed. Stop playing, man. I'm you not said playing. it. I mean, I'm trying to teach you. No, you're not trying to teach me <laughs> shit. You're trying to make fun of your man. Stop doing that. That make you feel big, nigga. Yeah. Huh? I, I'm going to shit on you. I'm going to shit on you. Stop. Don't make any fun of me for the next five minutes. Listen. Nigga, we will be going in five minutes. <laughs> Did you address that beating your kids is the widest thing you can debate? Did y'all ever address that? Uh, I, remember, gonna... I remember seeing it last time when it came to my mom. You... Oh, beating your kids is it's the, the whitest thing, whitest you, can thing do. you can do. It's none of the debate. You I agree do, with that. Oh, you can do? Or the, no, it says, the, oh, it says one of the debate. The debate. I'm sorry. Right I didn't see the do under there. Why are you making faces, nigga? Is beating your kids the whitest thing that you could do? No. So why the, who wrote that? One of your co-hosts that's not here. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> Hello, Canada. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pa- pardon me, sir. Uh, she gonna be mad at me. I'm sorry. Why would she write that stupid shit? She would write that. Up. <laughs> no. You could have just guessed who wrote. Beating guess, your kids is the whitest thing you could do. I don't even think white people beat this. I just said that shit fucked me up when I read that. I right, forget it. She was tying it back to knowing your inner child. But yo, okay, I love her. That's my girl. I'm just I didn't understand that. White people don't beat their kids. Mel's not here, so let's not dogpile on Mel. That's my girl. Not too much not here. I thought Joe wrote that. You thought I wrote that? Because you don't, you don't, you don't beat, you don't beat. I'm not beating my kids. Yeah, she yeah. wrote that because I remember she she, she talked about it off mic. Well, oh, when she, she was writing, so she did. and she showed something, and it was like be, beating a black child. That's what it was really about. Oh. Is the whitest thing you can do because it destroys them. Psychologically, mentally, I got it. Okay, like I got that. it. That's it was a deep topic. Not shout out to Mel. I'm sorry, Mel. I know you're gonna kick. Slaves built the pyramids. Slaves built the Parthenon. Slaves built America. Slaves, this is your song. Thank you. Slaves, thank you. Slaves. Erickson get his dancing. <laughs> Erickson get his dancing to slaves. <laughs> That is America. <laughs> that was a slap to you? That what? get a couple dollars out of you? That was a slap? Like, yeah, you was right. fucking with that? Fucking dumbass song. Somebody needed to get boo bopped on. This is America. Choo 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 button. New Joe button.